I am glad to announce that I have a channel where manga and manhua tops are published in daily, the link in the description. My lady, please, endure just a little while longer. You can do it. Be strong. Your child will be here any minute now. Sir Daigo, one who willingly steps into this hall of hell has made a choice to cast off Buddha and the gods in favor of the demons. I see it is futile to try and stop you. But hear me one last time. Sir Daigo, to cast off Buddha is to tread the path of evil. It is to no longer be human. If you cross this line, only hell shall await to embrace you on the other side. You foolish priest. We are living in hell already. The holy path of the Buddha that you so dearly worship does not exist on this plane of reality. There shall be consequences. I care not. This will be my salvation. This world is indeed hell. Just as you said, the prayers I offered seem more and more pointless. My greatest fear, after all my years of worshipping, was that someday I would begin to doubt Buddha. I'm glad to die before that day had arrived for me. So Daiko, please stay away from the demons that you so seek. Do not let yourself succumb to evil, as enticing as it may seem at the moment. No, priest. It is too late. Twelve demon gods. I am Daigo Kagemitsu. Under order of Togashi Masachika, governor of Kaga province, I serve as the great lord of Ishikawa. Repeated famines and epidemics have swept my land enfeebling my people to the point of prolonged starvation and untimely death. Given the state of my life thus far, I shall never attain the power and renown I so crave. My ambitions will remain a mere dream, but I refuse to rely on the Buddha or the gods. I do not offer you a prayer. Prayers can too easily go unanswered. I seek a bargain. If you protect my land and allow me to rule as I so wish, I shall give you anything of mine. As long as the land is protected, hear me now. Take from me whatever you wish. Anything! Do we have a deal, demon gods? <laughs> My lady, just a bit more. Almost there. Push! Oh, please. God is the mercy. Lend me your strength. Oh, he is born. Well done, my lady.
What is it? My lord. Is the baby born? It is, but... Uh... What? Speak, woman! It is done. We have a blessing. You now have a son. My lady. An heir. You've done very well, my wife. Sir, no. <clears throat> I do not know what happened, my lord. He is most certainly alive, but has no limbs to walk, eyes to see, nor a nose to spell. He has not even skin to cover his body. I shall give you anything of mine. Hear me now. Take from me whatever you wish. Anything! My lord, I feel a deep, profound love for this woeful child of ours. His appearance matters not to me, for he is our son made from our love and union. <laughs> I have done it. My dream will now be fulfilled as I see fit. Done what? The demons agreed to the deal I proposed to them. <laughs> you need not worry, my wife. Thank you for bearing him to term. What are you doing? Don't take him away from me! Come back! Forget him. Uh, Pretend he never existed in the first place. No, please don't! My lady, no, you mustn't get out of bed just yet. My lord, have mercy. My wife, forget him. He was doomed to an early death. Then at least let him pass in the arms of his mother. Enough of this nonsense! <laughs> you will have the chance to bear another. No. You must. The next will be the heir of a great ruler. <laughs> What's this? My lord, it was damaged whenever the lightning struck earlier. The midwife believed it may be some sort of sacrifice. Sacrifice? <laughs> Tale of Daigo. I have no idea what could have caused this. And sadly, dear child, a life will be far worse than any death. Now, this is it, dear. Buddha will await you on the other side. Why do I hesitate so? I should be accustomed to doing these deeds by now. Do you, child, have the desire to go on? It is up to you, and luck, dear boy. It reeks around here. It smells the rancid, sickened stench of evil. Certainly is no human, and yet it is not a yokai either, is it? Two truths, but smells of a curse just the same. Daigo Kagamitsu's land rested at the border of Kaga. And on this day, so began its steady rise to prosperity overcoming vicious famines which previously crippled its people. Meanwhile, a tiny soul, cursed by the sins of his father, quietly vanished into the wild. 
In this age, there was never a fortnight without the horrors of war. The lives of the people meant nothing more than the stones on the ground. Um, hello there. Are you the doctor who has been fitting prosthetics for the dead so the living may mourn properly for them? Your name is Jukai, correct? Your work is truly commendable. It's not. I just figured it'd be better than having to throw away all the extra prototypes. But I am sure they are still grateful for it. Mon chetsu ami dam and feast your eyes on these top of the line goods straight from the capital. This is genuine silk that was once worn by a wealthy princess. Come on, miss, don't be shy. <laughs> now this one, this is a sake jug from the Yamata no Orochi legend. These rare goods you can't get anywhere else. And I'm selling them cheap. I'll even throw in these dried fish with any purchase. You can't beat that deal. Come on, first come, first serve. <laughs> <laughs> What have we here? Mm -hmm. mm. This is just about everything we were carrying with us, isn't it? Got any proof the stuff is actually yours? Shut up! You said you were out here starving to death, so we hired you to look after all our stuff. We hear this isn't the first time you've gone around pulling this kind of stunt. Pretty gutsy for a kid. Some gentleman asked me to make sure you paid for it this time. <laughs> This is what you get for thinking I'm just some stupid kid. You know what, guys? You could learn something from me. Right. No more Mr. Nice Guy Kid. You will suffer the consequences just like an adult. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you little snot. Deadbeats like you ain't gonna catch me. Thank you, sir. Don't just stand there. Say thank you. Thank you. Is there a festival today, Mama? Of course not. We just had one not that long ago. But that guy had a mask covering up his face. Oh. Where did that little street urchin go? <laughs> uh, uh, what the? It's shit! Uh, uh, uh. God damn it! Clean yourselves up and try your luck elsewhere. <laughs> that kid is going to get it now. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, it's way too bad about that load, though. That was some good stuff. Well, I'll just have to find another sucker. Huh? What is it? Hey, can't find your mommy? Are you hungry or something? I, uh, got this. Nope, I can't. I'm afraid you have to learn how to live on your own now. Trust me, it wouldn't do you any good to spoil you. You gotta learn how to find your own food. I'm sorry. I'm doing this for your own good, you know. <clears throat> no escape now, Dororo. Hey, let that poor little thing go! Is this your puppy? Maybe I'll have to punish him along with you. How about that? Put it down. Then do what I say. Get it through your thick skull. You rip us off again and you're dead. Oh, you asked for it now. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Listen up, you better leave and never come back. Got it? You can go to hell. <sighs> Nobody ever gets to just order me around. I choose where I go and when. <laughs> you want to get pounded pretty bad, huh? <sighs> well then, be my damn guest! <laughs> 
bring me that straw mat over there. We're wrapping this kid up. Uh, okay. Sure thing. Uh. What are you doing? Hurry up, you damn moron! Hey, I'm, uh... There's some guy standing up there. <laughs> and there's something wrong with his face. His eyes, too. Where's he even looking? Who is this creepy freak? <laughs> hey there, buddy. You got a problem or what? We're not down here just beating up on some innocent little school kid, you know? He's getting exactly what he deserves. Hey, you hear me? You looking for trouble? Huh? No. Uh. I don't think that... He's looking at us. Huh? His eyes. It's like he's looking straight past us, but... What the hell are you talking about? There's nothing to see out there. See? It's just some floating garbage. It just... it ate him! of yours and your eyes and ears they're all fake right how do you know what's around you i bet you can't hear with those fake ears can you mister i would be way too scared to walk even a single step with my eyes closed but you can run and jump all over without a cane or anything how are you doing all that anyway huh what is it what's wrong are you okay hey uh, 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 uh. What? What is happening to the skin on your face? on the hunt you are going to get to eat it and I to Homaru will cook it for you wonderful nicely done it rained like this on that day as well my dear son Yakimaru. Your... your face! What the hell? What is this? What, uh... what are you? <clears throat> are you even human?
In this age, a simple journey put one's life at risk. Travelers were frequently robbed and easily lost. Injuries or illness could prove fatal. It was not uncommon for those on the trail to vanish without a trace. Hmm? My, my. The Tale of Bondi. I knew you could see. I mean, there's no other explanation. Right? You can see? How else could you fight that monster back there? You were all over the place. Never seen anything like it. You really shouldn't let impressive skills like that go to waste. You might want to... Hey, hey, listen to me. Do you always go around slaying monsters like that? Oh, and what about the swords on your arms? How are they attached? And this, your mask? After the battle, it fell off your face and some new skin grew in. If you really look carefully, the mask thing is fake, but your new skin is real, isn't it? That's crazy, right? How did you do that? Are you listening? Yeah, I knew you could see. You see just fine. I guess you don't want to talk about it. So why not? I'm sorry, I'll get off your case! Smells good, huh? It'd be even better with a bit of salt. But this'll do fine. Here you go. Sometimes it seems like you really can't see after all. It seems like you can't hear or talk either. You really are a strange person, you know? Oh, well. your skills to earn money? Leave it to me and I'll make you super rich. Being rich doesn't have to be a dream, okay? You must have had the same idea or you would have gotten rid of me a long time ago. Yakimaru could neither see nor hear his new acquaintance, but there was something he could see ever since he was born. The fire of the soul. And what was important, it seemed, was the color. There was hostility. Hatred, and beings not of this world, and Hyakimaru could detect such dangers. In addition to this ability, Hyakimaru also had extraordinary strengths and instincts. It was the only way he could survive in the darkness in which he lived. Thus, he allowed this one safe passage, as the color did not indicate any threat of danger. Take this! You can have the big one because you're bigger than me. Oddly, this soul did not pass him by, but instead remained. It was only the second to do so. No, stop it. 
Don't do it. Mama! Did I say something weird in my sleep? Oh, yeah. You can't hear me. Yeah. Hey, can you at least tell me your name? My name's Dororo. Dororo. And you? Guess not. Okay then, you're Mr. Nobody. <clears throat> Good night. haunting a village near here. Apparently, they say travelers who stop by and even some of their own villagers have been going missing from time to time. We're gonna get a reward after you take care of that monster like you did the last one. We can save people and get money doing it. Great, huh? <laughs> This place looks like a jackpot, if you ask me. They should have plenty to pay for killing a monster. Excuse me, huh? did I just hear you mention a monster? Goodness, what on earth are you talking about? <laughs> oh, don't act like you don't know about it. We heard you're in trouble. Hmm? But I've got some really terrific news. Listen and be amazed! This guy right here is an expert at slaying monsters, and he's for hire. Oh. Are you saying this young man can do such a thing? Sure is Dawn! Just the other day, he chopped down this giant whopper of a monster all by himself without even a single hair out of place. Saw it with my own two eyes. Oh. Well then, we don't charge anything up front. So no fear of getting scammed, eh? How fortunate that you came to our village. If you will slay this monster for us, the village will do much to repay you. Oh yeah? Right, everyone? Super! Glad we're on the same page, Sir Village Chief. No, no. I am but a representative of the Village Chief. My name is Dinkichi. Our actual Chief's name is Bandai. But she is unfortunately bedridden and not very mobile. Oh. At any rate, feel free to stay at my home during your time here. I don't have very much to offer, but I can make you some supper. No! Oh! Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth! Well, come this way then. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. Now this is paradise. Oh, man. I haven't eaten that much in a long time. But you know, they're living pretty extravagantly for being haunted by a monster. They don't have a whole lot of rice patties either. How do you think they make so much money? Gentlemen, is something the matter in here? Did you boys see the monster? Uh, it was here, but today, um, was to check it out. Yeah, it's not gonna be a big deal. Whatever you need to do. Good morning. Are you awake? <laughs> yeah. Pardon me. Lady Bondi says she wishes to meet with you two this morning. Lady Bondi? Oh, yeah. The village chief. 
Yes, and my apologies. I have yet to prepare breakfast. Sure, that's fine. It is that property right over there. Wow! Good day. What the? It's really dark in here. Oh, of course. I apologize for being in such a state. Forgive me, for I no longer have the use of my legs. Yet the people of this village allow me to lead. You may call me Bondi. Is there some sort of problem, child? Uh, no. You're just, uh, pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Forgive me for calling you all the way here. I heard so much about you from the villagers. I had to meet you right away. Especially that gentleman there. I thought you might be. And I was right. What? You know my friend? <laughs> what are you doing, boy? Hey, what's the matter? This lady is human. Hey, stop it! What's up with you? What's going on in here? What's he doing? He's got a sword for an arm! Seize him! Hey, quit it! That lady's no monster! You must get him under control! Watch it! Don't move! The boy's with them too! Hey, Take them both go. to the storehouse! lively in here today. What? <laughs> I'm glad to have some companions. What? What's your deal? Did you get into some trouble too? I heard of a monster in this village and came to see, and instead they locked me up in here in my sleep. Why? Who knows? But perhaps this has something to do with all the people who have disappeared. Hmm? Anyway, I've seen you before somewhere. You've seen me? So then you can see? Yes, well, sort of. Those of us without sight can see some things that other people cannot. Sometimes it's much more accurate than what you see with the naked eye. Really? What do you see that we can't? For example, when I look at you, you come across looking something like a clear white flame. A flame? Your soul, so to speak. We see the inside, not what's on the outside. The soul? Inside? Oh, you mean that Mr. Nobody here can see things the same way you do? Perhaps. So, when he drew his katana back there? Uh, now what's going on? Be alert. I sense something. Uh, now I can't see! Uh, Don't you worry. Uh, We're used to not seeing anyway. Seems like this well is connected to the outside. I can't see. I'm scared. You'll be fine. See? Feel that draft? Huh? This place? There's your friend right there. Welcome back. Have you come here to cut me into pieces? A poor, sick, crippled, and helpless woman. Give it up. We can see your ugliness. What you harbor inside of you. Hmm. What color? Let me see. Yes, of course. She is the murky color of blood. The worst color of all. I should have devoured you when I had the chance. <sighs> I'm sure you can tell by now, but this is far worse than any ordinary monster. <laughs> A demon god! Demon? Get out of 
of here! Hey, you! Why'd you let it get away? What was that about? You knew, didn't you? You were well aware and fed the travelers to it. Huh? I had no choice. It would have eventually eaten all of the villagers instead. Well, that's why you wanted us to slay the demon god, wasn't it? Because if we defeat the beast, then your problem's finally solved. It seems like it wasn't Bandai that he sought to slay when you two arrived. Huh? You were alive this entire time. Seems not everything could be taken from you. It's the only explanation. There is only one who could not get to you. Have you come to reclaim the rest? How interesting. Let's see if you can. No, no! Lady Bondi! <sighs> It's him! Huh? What's that? Oh! Look at this! It's some money! A lot of it! <laughs> the money of the travelers. It's all Bondi left behind. Uh, huh? What are you talking about? Sadly, our village has no real resources to make a living anymore. And when Bondi moved into the area and took over, we thought that all was lost. But then... The first traveler Lady Bondi decided to attack happened to be carrying a great deal of travel money. And I'm pretty sure you didn't mind that, did you? <laughs> Seriously? For real? You're awful! Even worse than the demons! Huh? Ah! Stop that sound! I'm begging you! I take it that is what you initially wanted us to slay, yes? It was his! The first traveler we lured in for Lady Bondi! He was just a pilgrim. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been such a jerk after you tried to kill Bondi. Guess I was the one who was blind this whole time. Not that you can hear me. On the contrary, your feelings are heard. Do not let it get to you. It's natural for those with sight to be so easily led astray. Actually, she looked like... Mm -hmm. Like my dead mama. She looked like her. Interesting. Right? Hey, uh, can you tell me what it says? Perhaps. Let me feel what he wrote. Ya ki maru. So this must be his name then. Yeah? Hiyakimaru? All right then. It's nice to meet you, Hiyakimaru. I know you too. No wonder I remember you. You're the one. From the river. What? What? Threatening developments on the border? Yes, my lord. They've increased the number of soldiers on guard. As if readying for war. Impossible. We are long-standing allies of Lord Sakai. I need you to investigate something. Oh, 
Come on. Hmm. Hey. The Tale of Jukai. Hey, got a man! Huh? Hello? Hey there. This is for Doc. Wow, thank you. There's so much. It's nothing. Doesn't even come close to a thank you. It's because of him my son can run around like a normal kid once again. This world isn't such a bad place with a man like him walking around. Damn right. <laughs> you should be able to move it with the muscles in your shoulder. <gasps> All you need is a little practice. Oh, wow. Well, look at that. I have an arm. I'm so happy for you, dear. Yeah, right? You mean I can really have this? Isn't there some way I could pay you? I only do this work because I wish. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Master? If you would please, teach this man how to use his new arm. Sure thing. Next! Dr. Jukai is like a god or something. You're right. He really is. When I was an orphan, Master gave me a reason to live. And because of that, I am truly honored to help him with his life's work. Master? He's been up all night long. What seems to be the trouble? <laughs> Do you know if Dr. Jukai lives anywhere near here? My son's arm. A passing samurai accused him of stealing from his cart and attacked him. He did this. He is going to be fine. Ma'am, my master has a way to save your son's life. I'm afraid it may take some time, but I'll do everything I can. I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. This is wonderful. Did you hear that? Uh-huh. My heart felt gratitude. I cannot thank you enough. He will be back to running and jumping around in no time. Truth be told, I feared the doctor might be as horrifying as they say. He was great. I suppose you cannot put much stock in rumors. Rumors? Uh. Uh. Oh, uh... Hmm? Kaname? Master. Is it true? I heard that you were a... I heard you actually served under... Lord Sheba. Uh. I had fallen into the sea, and eventually a foreign ship sailed by and picked me up. I went back with them to their country. There I found myself learning the techniques of prosthetics for those who have lost their limbs. I dare not say it's to atone for my sins, but to die peacefully as if nothing ever happened? Forgiveness would never come so easily. I should have been killed, but I was left to live. It meant there was something I still had to do. It was the Battle of Kanaishi in Sheba Province. 
That is where my father... My father was killed! <gasps> You killed my father! Kaname. Please, I... Uh... Begging for your life will not save you! I care not a thing for my wretched existence. Do whatever you wish to me when this job is finally over, but just let me help a mother and her child. <laughs> for the sake of that child. Thank you. could never atone your sins. You... You can rot for all I care. Can you be alive? You wish to live. Is it born? Yes, yes, a baby boy, Master. Oh, well done, my wife. He will make a perfect heir. Seems like that crab took a liking to you. Be careful, you'll scratch your mask up. Here. Let's take some home and we'll grill them up. <laughs> it's about time to head back anyway. Once again, I was left to live. This boy is missing so much. And I have no idea if he can even hear me when I speak. But this child has a curious power. He has a deep yearning to survive. This is to be your name now. 
It means that unfortunately you're surrounded by demons, my boy. But nonetheless, you have nothing to fear. I know you can overcome them. that hmm? what is it boy somehow be drawn to Hyakimaru's unnatural powers. Hyakimaru, I cannot protect you forever. In order for you to survive and live out there all on your own, you must discover your strength. <laughs> 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 Okay, that'll be enough. Young Master, how strong you are! <laughs> how about that? I'm now the strongest warrior in the whole entire world! Tohomaru! Uh, uh, Sword practice? Father! Nothing. But anyway, Father, I want to hear all the stories about your last heroic battle. <laughs> all right. He feels no pain, therefore he knows no fear. He slashes and kills, showing not even the slightest hesitation when it comes to ending a life. I only wished for one thing. For him to overcome his destiny. And live strongly. I wished for nothing more than that. Have I yet again made the wrong decision? Yakimaru, are you all right? What's the matter? Oh, 
Kakemaru! Oh. Your right leg. You must have put too much weight on it. Uh, are you okay? Huh? Huh? What the? What's going on? How is this even possible? A leg. A real leg of flesh and blood. I don't understand how this is happening. Uh... Yokai, they do more than consume us. At times, they delude us and lend us their powers. They allow a person to benefit from their supernatural abilities. But in return, they take something away. It may be that your body, your very being, was taken from you in just such an arrangement. I cannot go with you. I would only be in your way. In the end, I can do nothing else for you. All I have done is teach you how to kill. This amulet, you had it whenever I found you. If you hold tight to it, it may help you one day find your real parents. So then, are you saying that if he goes around killing demons, then he'll eventually get all his body parts back? Yes, I suppose that's what I'm getting at. Someone must have made a deal with some impressive demons a long time ago, in exchange for that poor boy's body. That's terrible! I don't know what kind of deal they got, but his eyes, nose, and mouth? They gave, like, all of his important parts away! Ugh! They did. One must be prepared to burn in the fires of hell to do such an evil thing. So? What do monsters even want them for? It's not like a single eyeball is going to make all their bellies any fuller. Who could tell? Perhaps it fills their souls in some darkened way. What is that supposed to mean? <clears throat> Yakimaru, you're finally up! Huh? Hey! Well, well. Pretty hot, huh? Ah, uh, yes. You've regained your pain. to you seriously man you're a handful jeez <laughs> The Tale of the Demon Sword.
Pardon me. Are you, uh... Don't bother. He can't hear a single word that you're saying. The poor guy's completely deaf. He's just been standing over there getting soaking wet for a long time now. He's as soggy as a drowned rat. And he can catch a cold for all I care. It is the rain. I believe he's listening to the melody of the rain. I told you, he can't hear. Well, it certainly appears that way. Uh, hmm. Hey, are you from a rich family? Uh, you have pretty words and a ladylike face. I can't imagine you're some country girl. <laughs> I'm right, aren't I? Well, uh... The past was long ago. Now I'm just another humble peddler. Hmm. Well, whatever. So let me ask you, what was it that you were praying so hard about anyway? For some good business? I was praying that my older brother would come home to me soon. Huh? Your brother? Where'd he go? To fight a war. It's been five years now. Five whole years? If it's been that long since he left, he's probably already... Oh. like this this katana was thirsty for blood so i cut them all down your katana was thirsty that's a load of crap this is no ordinary katana it's a demon sword that lives by feeding on human blood once you have it in your hands it controls you it wants nothing more than to kill you're blaming the katana for slaughtering everyone then why don't you explain to me why you've got that creepy smile on your face? Just like me, there's a lust for violence in that blade you have. But it's a bit too slow! from here, then he must be, right? Oh, oh, right, your leg. Hold on, I'll go get it. Let's see, where's his leg? Leg, leg, oh, there it is. And that guy's katana stuck in it. That's really messed up. Okay, I'm getting rid of this thing. Tanosuke! 
Sasuke. Oh, I'm so glad you've come back. Oh, Sushi. Yes, I'm right here. My dear, dear brother. I've been praying and praying for so long. I've been praying for your safe return home. And so right now I, uh... <clears throat> what is it, brother? Are you looking for something? Oh, nothing. I will be all right. It will return to me soon enough. Just go back! Listen, I don't want to go this way! Oh, crap! Just let me go already! You stupid katana! Hey, kid! What are you doing out here all by yourself? You need to get off the mountain now! There's some crazy maniac on the loose! Forgive me, Osushi. To fight is the duty of a samurai. Please understand. Don't worry. Father and mother will surely be watching over me. <laughs> I shall be back before you know it. I do hope so. Tenosuke. Hmm? I saw earlier they were selling these out on the street. Chestnut rice. You always liked chestnut rice, didn't you? Do you remember? Back when I was just a child, how once I started crying, there was no way to get me to stop. Mother would always try to soothe me somehow, but I would just keep on wailing and wailing. And whenever that happened, he would come in and fold a paper crane for me like this. And I stopped crying just like that. I would sit there and just gaze at that crane forever. Sitting right here. He's here! Stay off the streets! Yakimaru! Hey, brother, let us go back home. Come back with me. Tonosuke, say something. I'm begging you. Please tell me what happened to you. What made you... What made you like this? Do it. Do it now. I said to kill him, Tonosuke. That castle carpenter has built quite a magnificent fortress for me. Not even a great renowned army could come in and take it over. However, if he betrays us, he could expose its weaknesses to our enemies. 
It would be no better than a sandcastle overnight. So you must kill him before that happens. I beg you! My lord, please reconsider! You're pathetic. Are you not up to the task? Then just take this and finish yourself. Away. It's rusty and dull. Just right for you, wouldn't you say? Now kill him! Do it! <laughs> that katana is special. It's said to get sharper as it comes into contact with blood. I have no idea if that is true or not. <laughs> but there's certainly enough blood here. Thank you. So that's your name. My lord, it wants more blood. Nihiru demands it. What's that? You want even more? Leave it to me. I'll soak you in it as much as you wish. Is here now. Uh, don't go! Please, Tanosuke. Osushi. What are you doing? Stop it! It's me! Can't you tell? Damn it! You need to let go of me, Osushi. Please, I'm begging you to stay. Please, brother, don't leave me. Let go. Tanosuke! Uh, Get out of my way! Uh, uh, Everything changed whenever you left for war. I could not defend the house nor the land on my own. And now it is all gone. But with you finally back here with me again, we can live like we did before. Please, stay here with me. I don't care if you're not the same anymore. I don't. Calling. Tanosuke! Yakimaru, you got it. I can't thank you enough. I'm so exhausted. Ugh. 
This katana is mine. It is mine and mine alone. <laughs> Why didn't you kill me before? Because now you won't be given the chance! It feels good to have you back, Nihiru. Dear brother, You okay? We have searched everywhere, but could not find the whereabouts of the midwife. As for the child, still nothing. The Tale of the Nanny's Song, Part 1. for you even out here? Mm. It's actually so quiet it creeps me out. Sound. It was the most shocking sense Yakimaru had recovered thus far. It was relentless. He did not know how to process the innumerable waves and vibrations surrounding him. He was drowning in an overwhelming cacophony, a raging flood of noise. <laughs> so, um, I guess we should give up on this next yokai slaying, huh? 
There's a fancy reward for it, but you're in no shape for that right now. Huh? What's there? It isn't you two boys again. What a coincidence. Yakimaru, come on. Keep it together. You can do this, big bro. Snap out of it. Oh, his ears, eh? Well, that's a good thing, I guess. Yeah, but it's not a good thing. He's gotten a lot weaker now that he can hear stuff. It's been too much for him. How so? I mean, the yokai wasn't very powerful. Even you were able to take it down. But he still got all beat up by it. Glad you hold me in such high regard. Um, Hiyakimaru's gonna be okay, right? He's gotten past the worst of it. But it would be better if we had some medicine to give him. Okay, I'm sure I can go find some. I'm pretty sure there's a big town on the other side of the river. Better not. Apparently tensions have been brewing out there. War is on the brink. Huh? It would seem Lord Sakai has betrayed one of the neighboring territories. Now the two armies are at a standoff. For outsiders like us to go anywhere near them would be both incredibly risky and foolish. That's why I turned back in the first place and wound up coming across you two. Oh man! Why do samurais like to fight so dang much? Oh, I was being loud. Sorry. Try not to move around. Your wounds will open up. Uh -uh. Honestly, son, you are like a wounded beast hiding in his cave, scared of his own shadow. Hear this now. This is a human's voice. The other sounds you hear are the fire, the wind, and the creatures of the forest. You must get acclimated to it in order to come out of your cave and venture into this world. <gasps> Wait, no! Come on, you know he's hurt. You can't force him like that. He just needs time to figure it out himself, you know? and gentle singing voice that is. It is not wise for you to be moving. Oh, confound it. Are you hurt? Is everything all right? Oh. Oh. Ah, so you're blind, aren't you? Yes, I'm here. Oh, what's the matter? You feel like you have a fever. You shouldn't be in the water like this. Let's get you out of here. Oh. Oh, here, hang on to me. Uh, 
I've never seen him looking so profoundly weak like this before. Well, it's probably because of so many wounds. And he has also gained many new feelings from the demon gods. Perhaps it is all simply too much for him to handle. Here. These rags may be old, but they're clean. Thank you. Excuse me, Miss Mio. Forgive us for not only intruding on you, but also being a bother. Not at all. Please, stay as long as you want until he's feeling better. Are you sure? Oh, of course. There are a lot of kids here just like your big brother, so don't worry about putting us out at all. We're all used to it here. <laughs> kids! Don't lurk around. Come say hello properly. Come on! <sighs> One of the war's battles was fought here. <sighs> We lost our houses and, well, everything. So now we all live here, and we have each other. So, are you saying everyone's moms and dads are... Yes, but they're wonderful children. We make do somehow, even though they're so young. Jeez, Mio! You should not still be up! Come on, let's go, move! Listen, Mio, you've got to get some rest while you can. We need you healthy. I'll watch over the hurt guy for a while so you can go get some sleep. Okay, okay, sure. Right, if you need anything, just ask Take here. Go on, go! And I already made breakfast, so make sure you eat first. You need the nutrients. Yes, yes. There's enough for you, too. Huh? Enjoy the gruel. Eat it. Uh, thank you. Anything I can help with? Nah, I'm good. You can watch over the hurt fella. No way! I can't just sit on my butt and do nothing around here. You gotta at least let me work for all the food that you've been feeding us. Oh, that's admirable of you. Even though you were crying and sobbing. What? I was not! That's a lie! I wasn't crying ever! Hey, no! Shh. Keep it down, you'll wake up Neo. Sorry, but why is she sleeping in the middle of the day? Cause she works at nighttime. Lord Sakai's army doesn't really know when the war might start back up again. So they have to stay up all night and need someone there to serve them. And well, the pay is better at night. Mio must be real good at it too, she even gets food. Anyway, she has to get her sleep during the day. Uh... Huh. You're pretty important around here, you know? Oh. You going somewhere? I am. I was thinking perhaps there's a path where one could avoid the battlefield. So I'm taking a little stroll. But if I do not return, then you can assume I found myself a game trail or some way to sneak out. Good day. Okay. Well, what's up? I thought you guys were together. We just kind of crossed paths. Huh? He's some weird roaming monk. I can't help but wonder if there's going to be another war soon. Yeah? If there is, we're not in a very good place. Sakai's army at the border has yet to make a move. We stand at a deadlock. If this lasts any longer, I am afraid we will have to send additional provisions. We have more than enough stocked up for that. Yes, but it has not rained for almost a month now. The people are growing weary. It is uncommon for it to be so dry during this season. I believe we should retain our reserves just in case. This land is the most fertile in all the region. Yes, sir. How can you be so sure? Excuse me? This thing with Lord Sakai. And now this drought seems unending. And if you recall, we also had a landslide this year as well. It's as though we've gone back to the way things used to be. What are you saying? It is very simple. This domain and everyone in it sits atop a very fragile foundation. And I would ask that you never forget where you've put us. It could crumble apart at any moment. <laughs> to hell with Sakai and his army! Tell the men to take care of them quickly. Yes, sir. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Children, huh? don't just laugh, help out. Hmm. 
Hyakimaru, how are you feeling? You still have a fever. I have an idea. I'll get some medicine tonight. I'm sure Lord Sakai's army must have some. Okay, I'm headed off to work. Hey, uh, get up! It's almost time for us to eat dinner! I found a red flower and pulled it. I found a red flower for her. Where shall I place this and treasure? Nowhere in her hair. A red flower. As expected, you critters are far better navigators than we humans could ever be. This way, then. Oh, my. This is quite the lovely spot. Hmm? Got you some medicine. I'll brew it for you. Oh. It's so strange. Sometimes I feel as though you can see, like deep down inside of me. He can. He sees your soul. What? Listen, don't wander off on your own, okay? I was getting worried. He sees my soul? Mm hmm. I don't really understand it myself. Apparently, he sees the colors of the souls of all living things. And not only people, but grass, trees, and animals. He can even find yokai easily, too. I bet they've got a really nasty color. Oh, yeah? Oh. Huh? What's that? I'm guessing that he wants to hear you sing that song again. To sing? Apparently, he doesn't find your voice to be as loud and annoying as everything else. Hey, I got it. If he listens to you sing, then he'll get used to sounds. Uh... If he never does, then he'll be like an injured animal hiding in a cave. You can help him out with your song. It's worth a try, anyway. But my singing, I promise you, it really isn't all that great. <laughs> okay. I found a red flower and pulled it. I found a red flower for her. Where shall I place this crimson treasure? Nowhere other than in her hair. Oh, oh uh, it's the monk. I take it you didn't find a safe path out there. Well, uh... Not exactly. Though I do have some good news and some bad news to share. Whoa! That sounds like a great place! It will serve as a safe refuge. Even if there is a war, you shouldn't be caught in the middle. I did stop and give the soil a bit of a taste, and it seemed pretty hardy to me. Let's go! It sounds great! We can live there! Uh, right. There is a slight catch, I'm afraid. Something has already laid claim to that piece of land. Claimed it? But you said it was vacant. A demon god. And a big one at that. It's not something we want to face unprepared. Here we go again. Demon god? Is that like a monster? It is, but it's way stronger than just your run-of-the-mill yokai. Okay, then. Wait, no, don't! You're not going demon god slaying in your condition! Huh? No, you can't! Not with those injuries! Do something! Although this technically was the initial reason I told you, I did not think you would try it before your wounds were actually healed. Impatient, aren't we? Hey, Monk! Watch after him for me, all right? And I'll do more. Whatever I can.
precarious situation. What? You're gonna work at the enemy encampment? You would be going to work for both Lord Sakai's army and the enemy? Mm-hmm. Starting tonight. Oh. That can't even be possible. He's right. It's hard enough on you as it is. But moving to a new location means we'll have to be properly prepared. There's no point if all there is is land. I guess that's all true, but... Don't you worry. War took a lot from us, Take. This is how we take some back from it. Yeah. Uh... Okay, with that settled, I should rest up while I can. Mm. Good night, then. Good night. Mio's really stubborn when she gets her mind set on something. And while I heard there's a lot of roughnecks in the enemy bivouac. Uh, right! I'll just go keep an eye on her. You? Then I'm going too. No, Take! You gotta stay here and take care of everyone else. Don't worry. If it looks like she's doing too much, I'll make her quit. Okay. I appreciate it. She wants to take back from the war, huh? It's a good idea. And not only that, we should take back from the samurai, too. How long are we gonna be sitting here doing squat? I can't make a name for myself like this. You're telling me! Nothing to do here in the boonies but take a giant dump. Excuse me, sirs. Mm -hmm. I'm here looking for some work. Huh. Where did Mio end up going? You can tell, yes? Are you up for this? Perhaps this isn't the right time yet. Yakimaru! Oh dear God! Overwhelmed by hearing the world around him, Yakimaru was injured. He was taken in by a girl named Mio who had created a safe haven for children orphaned by the war. But as Yakimaru found himself face to face with a demon god, his new friend saw something he would never forget. That's... that's just not... Duh! I gotta get back. Oh, hey! Oh man, what happened? Dororo, perfect timing. Help me out. Are you okay? Ah! Oh my god, his leg! I knew he should not fight with his injuries. The demon god has taken it. Uh, uh, you in pain? What can I do? Wait, his voice. That's right. Despite losing his leg, it seems he did get his voice back. Huh? So he can talk? The Tale of the Nanny's Song, Part 2. Mio! Welcome back! Thanks. Whoa! whoa. Uh, 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 what happened? You're hurt! Oh, it's nothing serious. I just tripped coming back. Well, okay, but you should really lie down. This is exactly why I was so against you going to work at both of the camps. You're better off just... What's that? <laughs> oh, you see... Yakimaru! 
Haru! Uh, oh, oh, what happened? Calm down. He's not going to die. But he... he is simply not ready to fight. <sighs> Come on, now. Never mind him, Mio. You need to get some rest. Oh, but I'm the one experienced with this. You get food ready for everyone, okay? After your friend? Yeah, but... Well, I guess it's okay. Mio's still there for him. I tell ya, her need to take care of people is a real pain. She should really be taking care of herself sometimes. Hey, Tage, have you ever gone to work at the camps with Mio before? I always stay behind. We can't leave the little ones here all alone. Guess not. What can I do, you know? We have to rely on Mio to go to work, or else we're all just going to starve to death. Look, I'm not blaming you, okay? And you know what? We made a promise. To own a rice field someday. A rice field? Yeah. It'll be a big old sea of green in the summer. And then the field will turn golden in the fall. Gold like money. And we'll grow more rice than we can ever eat. Up until now, we've only seen rice fields burnt by war or all dried up by droughts. But Mio said they used to be everywhere when she was a kid. Everyone, we're going to have our very own rice field someday. Green and golden. And all ours. It won't be very long, and I can go off to work too. That way, Mio won't have to work so dang hard. Hey! Uh, Talking! Yeah, I'm coming! Don't you worry. War took a lot from us, Take. This is how we take some back from it. You know, we could use a good rain about now. Well, I wouldn't worry. We've always been blessed by rains every year. See? There are some clouds forming now. Please, Father! Allow me to join the reinforcements to suppress the Sakai clan! Let me show you I can crush a small domain like it is nothing! War is not to be underestimated. If that is how you think, then you are yet too young. Get back to training, boy. Father! Tahomaru. Mother. Mother. Could you please talk to father so that I should be allowed to fight in the war? Your father just told you that you're not yet ready to fight. No matter what I say to him, that answer will not change. Father does not understand any of this! If he would just allow me to go to war, then I can distinguish myself in battle. Uh, would that not make you both pleased? Oh, of all things. Would my achievements not make you and father proud? That's not what I mean. No, you are always like this, mother. No matter what sort of great prize I hunt down, or how skilled I am at fighting, it is never enough for you, is it? It's just that I... Uh, it's just I dislike anything to do with war. It is not war that you dislike. It is me. How can you even think that? Tahomaru, where is there a mother on Earth who would do such a thing? Shogo! Mutsu! Time for a ride! Bring the horses around! Yes, yes sir. sir. Young master! You need not say anything, Mutsu. I know that I acted a bit childish. A bit? The lady of the house is very kind. Especially to you. Always. Yes, I heard you the first time! Ha! Ah! True, mother has never once been unkind to me. Yet still... Young master! Young master, that's too dangerous! Uh, you shall get hurt! Yoga. Get down! Uh, young mother, master! Look at me! Master, look at me! I know you can do it! Do come down! <laughs> Please, young get master! Get down here right this you must instant! Get up there! I said to get down! Young master! Young master! You need to come down! There is something in this world to which mother gives her heart so strongly, above all else. She will never say it. But she is hiding something. And it is not just mother. Father is hiding things too. It is very simple. 
This domain and everyone in it sits atop a very fragile foundation. I would ask you never forget where you put us. They're keeping something from me. I understand that you're frustrated, but pushing yourself is only going to make it worse. To be honest, I've done the same. I pushed myself too hard as well. That was stupid of me. I knew it wasn't going to be easy to make money. No, no. I swore that I would never cry because of a samurai ever again. I cry, I lose. The same for you. If you try too hard and die, you lose. Anyways, I heard that you found your voice. That's amazing. Try to say something. <clears throat> huh? Are you saying it's noisy? Your own voice? <clears throat> oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> you'll get used to it. Dororo told me, if you don't heal, you'll be like an injured animal hiding in a cave. <clears throat> hmm. Well then, a song. I know you like songs, right? I found a red flower and pulled it. You know, I sing whenever I feel sad. Keeps me from crying, so. I found a red flower and pulled it. I found a red flower for her. Where shall I place this crimson treasure? You're leaving? Yes. I shall be taking it slowly and go where I can. It is easy enough to go around where the demon god is. I am in no hurry anyway. Although, it would be useless to try and convince Hiyakimaru of that. Why is that? If you take something away from a child, the child will always try to get it back. He was born with nothing. And now, he can take back everything he has never known. In his horror, her song seems to calm him down. Calm down how? The demon god flames that Hyakimaru has sensed his entire life. They are the embers left behind from his whole ordeal. Or something like that, perhaps. Just make sure that whatever comes out of that cave is not a demon itself. Bye now. Please don't stare at me. Hyakimaru, I understand you are able to see people's souls, the colors of them. Please don't look at mine. It's probably really filthy, really. <laughs> Your hands, they don't make me tremble. It is a reprimand from our Lord. No provisions. He will send them. And men. But waiting would only bring shame. We strike. Time for an attack. Don't let them see it coming. Tell all the men to be on watch for any Sakai spies. Yes, sir! <clears throat> you going to work? So I guess you know now what my job is. Purpose. It's fine. I honestly don't feel all that ashamed about it. It is how we all survive. Uh. But I understand if you want to keep your distance. It is a dirty job. <sighs> at any rate, I'm amazed at how a boy your age is able to understand what my job is. Well, uh, I traveled around with my mama a lot, and uh, at that time, no matter how hungry we got, that's the only job mama didn't do. I see. What an admirable mama. But that's how... Uh, mama died. Uh. Mama was admirable. But so are you for staying alive. You 
are! <laughs> You're gonna take from war what war took from you and those kids, right? Then take every last bit of it! Rice fields, farms, all of it! Oh. <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> Eat up, okay? It'll make you stronger. So what if you got one of your legs taken? You got your voice back, so don't be so quiet. Say something already. Come on, you need to eat if you want to use that voice. <coughs> water, water. Sorry about that. Hey, uh, so tell me. You're not gonna lose to those demons, are you? There's no way that you'll turn into one of those... those demons, right? Forget it. Just eat up. You need it. <laughs> I found a red flower I found a red flower I'm leaving for work now, but don't let Hyakimaru go back out there, okay? There is no way his body can hold up. Yeah, I know that. That's wicked. It's built into your arm? So I'd like to show you something. We got them from the battlefield. Look, this one's pretty nice, isn't it? wrong. You just left without telling me. You know, Mia was worried about you, too. Well, the good news is your leg grew back. What? Is something wrong? Oh, uh, the temple! Make certain there are no survivors. Hmm? What the hell's this? What the hell's going on? Just who are you? Are you one of them, too? Uh. This woman came to do her dirty business with my soldiers at our encampment the other day. 
And then she was seen entering the Sakai camp last night. She has been disposed of for being a suspected spy. Uh, Mio! Toki! Uh, uh, the goat jerk face, how could you? I see you're upset. Was she a friend of... Who the hell do you think you are? Look at the guy's Mio. damn arms! Mio! Come on, Mio! Ducky! Okay. Mio! Mio! Whatever comes out of that cave is not a demon itself. <laughs> spare me! Please! I beg you! Please spare me! <laughs> Just make sure that whatever comes out of that cave is not a demon itself. Hey, so, uh, are you hungry? Guess food is the last thing on his mind. Uh, say, you've never laughed before, have you? <laughs> It's not my problem. <laughs> huh? I'm never going back to my wife. I want to stay with you forever. I want to see you. Hey, this isn't the time or place to be doing stuff like that. Go get eaten by a bear or a wildebeest. Just get out of here. You... 
What's your deal? Quit goofing around already. Like it got away. Oh, look, the village over there. I must find prey to regain my energy. The Tale of the Spider Woman. that I cannot even pull myself up is pathetic. All your rules sure are a pain in the butt. Don't worry, we have extra guards out on duty to protect the village. Protect from what? Well, there have been a rash of kidnappings recently. Kidnappings? Yeah, our people keep disappearing almost nightly. See those watchtowers there? That's what those are for. You let us know right away if you see anyone suspicious. You know what? I bet that spider monster's who's responsible for kidnapping all those villagers. It seems like a big problem for them. If we can take care of this, it'll save lives, and I bet there'll be a big fat reward, too. I must complete it, if only this. Hey, miss, are you okay? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Uh, are you sick? You're as pale as death. You can come to my place. I can at least give you something to eat. Would you like me to carry you? I can walk. Okay, follow me. I need life force, and this fool is a good place to start. Um, so what's your name, anyway? You can call me Yajiro. I do not have a name. No? Okay, then. There. So, how about I call you Ohagi? Ohagi? Yeah. You were lying in a bed of hoggy flowers. Call me whatever you like. Great. Well, oh, hoggy, you must be hungry. Eat up. What the hell is this? It looks vile. Eat it. You'll like it. Uh. Mm. It's good. <laughs> so, where are you from? Mm. If you don't mind me asking. If you must know, I do mind. Okay. Why were you lying in the road? I wasn't lying there because I wanted to. If I can get my strength back, I will leave this place without a second thought. Uh, Aren't you going to eat? Uh, uh, I already ate earlier, before you got here. Is that so? Anyway, eat as much as you want. I need to head out and go to work. I'll be back by dusk. Once you're done, try to get some sleep. What a peculiar person. This is my food. You are not allowed to touch it. No farms, no crops, nothing. It might be kind of hard for us to find any food in this village. What's going on here? Hey, mister. Can you tell me what that sign says? It says there's to be a reward for anybody who captures the kidnapper. Though no matter how big the reward, it doesn't seem they will be caught anytime soon. There you go. Just like I said. <laughs> that reward is gonna be ours. Oh yeah, kid? Do you know who it might be? 
So are you after the reward too? It's better if you keep your distance on this one. I mean, we're dealing with a monster here. A monster? That's right. The monster's gonna come out. It'll be after the sun goes down. Besides, we don't have the energy to search blindly all day. Gotta play it smart, okay? Right, let's move. This is all I can do by eating only human food. It took a little longer than I thought. Sorry. Did you manage any rest? I slept, but I was awoken by all the noise outside. Yeah. There was another accidental death out at the work site. It's been happening more and more, too often, I'd say. Why do you work so hard, then? If you die, it defeats the purpose. This village only survives because of the quarry, and our lord won't allow for the profits to decrease. <laughs> Humans are such inconvenient beings. <laughs> you still look really pale. Oh, I see you ate your fill. A cockroach. Why did you let it go? So it's okay for humans to die, but not bugs? Humans and bugs are the same. They both have their own life to live. I have never met a human who would say such a thing. You're an odd one. Am I? Anyway, here, eat some dinner. And then sleep. <sighs> It'll do you some good. A man like you, it is a first for me. It is as though we are both starving. Uh, I'm pooped. We walked all night long but didn't find anything. Where the heck is that stupid spider monster thing hiding? I can't even think straight. Let's get some sleep while it's still cool out. Hey, what's that posting say? It says another person disappeared last night, so the reward is going up. Last night? But there wasn't any sign of a monster. Maybe I was wrong about the kidnappings. Maybe it's not a monster. Hey, will the person who takes people away ever get caught? There's no way that's gonna happen. No matter how high the reward piles up, there's not a single soul in this village who would dare go and snitch to the Lord about it. Okay. Oh. Oh. There's nothing in the village for us to eat except maybe bugs and weeds. Guess we'll just chew on some herbs and rest up until night. Ohagi, you're even more emaciated. I just don't get it. So listen, I saw you leave very early this morning. It was still dark, but I noticed that you did not have a torch with you. Do you have another job besides the quarry in the mountains? Yeah, a bit of a night gig once the moon sets. I would actually say it's my main job. Must be tough. Ohagi, as far as I can tell, you have some sort of illness. But this village has no doctors. And you don't have a travel pass, so it'll be difficult for you to leave and find one. But I know of a way to get you out of here if you want. Well, it seems I will not find any young prey around here anyway. I would love to leave this place if I could, Yashiro. But I'm afraid I have no way to pay you. I just want you to live. 
How could I forget? You see me in the same way that you see a cockroach. Yes, you are the same. There's no difference in the value of life. Well, I certainly do not wish to die. So help me get out. Yes, of course. We'll go as soon as possible. Tonight, after the moon sets and before the dawn breaks, you just rest up until then. If the kidnapper isn't a monster, then it'll be pretty difficult for us to even find him. Anyway, tonight's our last chance. Okay, this will be our last night looking for the monster. Hard to get motivated on an empty stomach, but let's do what we can. Where are we going? This is not the way to the village exit. There are always guards posted over there. It's right this way. We have to hurry up and get out there, before sunup. It's a rough trip, but bear with me. Uh, it's tough on a kid like me to walk two nights on an empty stomach. Sorry about this. Looks like we struck out this time. We should give up and move on to the... Uh, huh? Bahagi, do you need to take a minute to rest? Do not underestimate me. I could suck your entire life force away. <gasps> We met yesterday. You're the boys after the reward. You again? Have you come to finish me off, you filthy little pests? I've heard that voice before. It's her! It's her! This lady is the spider monster! I just knew she was the village kidnapper! You get away from that thing, mister, or she's gonna suck you dry. If we take out the monster, then we can eat. Get to slashing, big bro! Oh, Hoggy is a monster? saying to you? This woman is a monster and also a kidnapper to boot! I'm the one who's the kidnapper. I guide people to escape from this village. Ohagi is innocent. I don't mind being caught, but please let her go free. Please, she's sick and very weak right now. Uh, sick? But why would you want to protect a monster? So you're the escape guide. You've caused us trouble. We're the ones that found him first, so you better fork over that reward! <laughs> There's no such thing. That was just to entice squealers. Uh, talk about being heartless. That's dirty business. You guys are total scum. I'm fine with scum. But if we allow any more laborers to leave and the profits decrease, then it shall be our own heads that get removed. Bring the deserters to me! Tasting energy. Uh, be careful. Do you refuse to let me go? Don't just stand there. Your job is not done yet, escape guide. Which way do we go? That way. Come on, then. All right, stay still. So yeah, the reward was fake, which means that we're working for free. So now what? Guess that answers that! What, are you scared? No. If I do not do this, they will catch up to us. I'm fine. Good, hold on to me. What? Whoa. <sighs> So, you're all in good health now, huh? You can get along without me, or so it would seem. I have not regained enough strength to get through the mountains. I need the life force of at least five or six more men. The men that you drain, do they die? <laughs> I see humans as precious prey. I had never taken a life until that man earlier. If kept alive, a life force can revive. Then I can have it again because living together is the secret to life. Uh. So then, you will continue, right? Yes. That's good. Look at that! Not even you could climb something that crazy steep. We'll just have to chase after them. Let's go. This is the secret passage? It's narrow here, but becomes wider inside. 
You hear that water running? Follow that sound and you will reach the stream on the other side of the mountain. It is dark in there, but I assume you don't need a light, so I doubt they will catch up to you. Well, my job officially ends here. Now, you should go. You need to come with me. Huh? You cannot stay here anymore, now that your secret has been exposed. When you get caught, do you think they will let you free? I'm pretty sure I'll be used to set an example for everyone else. Is that how you want it to end? Of course not. Then you need to escape with me. But... Or do you not want to be with a monster? Okay, Ohagi. Instead of dying here in this godforsaken village, I will leave with you and live on as your prey. I know I will never meet another human as strange as you ever again. Shall we go then? <laughs> That's what you get for thinking you can betray the Lord. Kill him together with the beast! You bastard! I will take the life force of every one of you! no doctor in the village, so I will take you to find one. I will not let you die on me. It would seem that one of us must die no matter what. No. You mustn't kill, Ohagi. You don't have to. You have me, remember? While those two went on their way, hard to believe there are yokai out there who like humans. The world's a crazy place. But, well, I'll say it's a good thing that you have your hearing back now, isn't it? Or else I think the result would have definitely left something of a bad taste in our mouths. Still not talking. What did I expect? Well, fine then. I'll talk enough for the both of us and get rid of that gloomy and dour mood you love so much. Ah! Ugh, spider! Ow! You bit me, you little turd! I'm sorry. I probably scared you more than you scared me. <laughs> Whoa! Wait! Did you just... You just snorted! I heard it! It was your very first chuckle! But that was mean! That's not the kind of chuckle I want to hear! You were laughing at me, not with me! I know you know the difference. There's the kind of laugh that makes me look Forsaken Cloud! Find a bride! We must prepare a bride! <laughs> the Cloud had mysteriously appeared, as if from nothing. It simply hung over the land, as if it had been left behind. The townspeople began referring to it as 
the Forsaken Cloud. The Tale of Saru. That stinks! It's like the stench of hot, rotten eggs. Doesn't it bother you at all? Do you even know what smell is? Man, it sucks talking to myself. You do realize you got your voice back, right? Uh, all right, let's practice some talking skills. So, I want you to try to say something to me, okay? Hmm? Wow, it looks like a bridal parade. But, uh... Something seems off here. Whoa, hold on there! What the hell do you think you're doing? What are you doing? Why the heck are you shooting arrows at a happy bride? What's wrong with you? <laughs> There's nothing happy about this. That girl is being taken to be the bride of a vicious monster. Of a monster? And I am gonna stop that from happening. Ugh. Move it, or I'll shoot you too. Now just hang on, pal. I think you might need to tell us what's going on here. When it comes to monsters, my friend and I just so happen to be experts. <sighs> That's it. A cloud floating over the village? That's the monster? That's right. That's what she said. People call it the Forsaken Cloud. They say it first appeared a long time ago, and whenever it did, it took people. So one day, they offered up a beautiful village bride and pleaded for it to leave their people alone. Apparently, it left quietly after that. So ever since, when it comes back, they offer another bride. If they don't, it could get mad and take out the whole village. Even though it's a monster, it wants a human bride? And why so many? My big sis said it must feed on them when it takes them away. Man, I really don't understand how monsters think. So then, I guess your sister was chosen this time, huh? I have got to save her from it. She is the only person here who's nice to me. <laughs> That's where heroic strangers come in. This guy right here has taken out tons of monsters. A cloud like that would be easy to beat. Are you serious? However, we do expect a reward. We can't just do it for free, you know? Mm. Mm. Huh? They're really good. Not mm. what I meant. We need something actually worth something. Huh? This is gold dust! I picked <laughs> it up out of the river. I got a bunch of rocks like that. You can have all you want. Really? We've got ourselves a deal then. My name's Dororo. And I'm Saru. Saru? You mean like a monkey? That's funny. Dororo's funny too. Ugh. No, it's not. You don't know what you're talking about. Better than Saru. <laughs> Whatever. Hurry! I'm here! Uh. <laughs> no. I told you over and over again not to come. I came here to save you, okay? I cannot leave with you, Saru. But why not? You mean that you... you want to save the village? Forget those rotten people! They're offering you up to the beast so that they can save themselves! That is not true. I made the choice to do this myself. I will not stand by and allow everyone in the village to be slaughtered. And that includes you. Why can't someone else do it instead? A sacrifice must be made. Take it easy. Just hold on a minute. You'll be fine. Look, miss, we're gonna take down that nasty monster for ya. That'll solve everybody's problems. Who are you? And how exactly do you plan to do that? 
If it eats people, then it has to have a belly and a mouth somewhere. We'll just cut those things right up. See that? He's got things under control. Too late now. It's already here. <laughs> what is this? We should get out of here and just leave her! Shut up, you idiots! It'll hear you! <laughs> Yakimaru's vision was twisted and distorted through a web of black flame. And this whirling, murky darkness surrounding him belonged to the fiery souls of the yokai he hunted. But now, he had completely lost what vision he had. This is where you live? Yep, it's all mine. You live here alone? Yeah, so that girl isn't actually my sister. I've lived by myself out here my whole life. My parents died from a disease when I was still just a little kid. But I survived. And all I had was the mountain. Then the villagers came. They said they didn't want me on the mountain anymore. And so they... They ended up running me off. You stay away from me! Oh, I see you hurt yourself. Let me take a look. You must be the orphan boy who lives on the mountain. You have a cute little face like a monkey. What's your name? What's my name? Um... You mean to tell me you don't remember the name you were given? It's Saru. My name is Saru. <laughs> It felt strange, just watching her. It made me forget about being hungry or cold. In the past, my mother was the only one who had ever been kind to me. So I thought, maybe, maybe this woman had been my mother, some other place or some other time. Your mother, huh? Saru, um... Well, there's no sense crying about it. Huh? I need to get out there and make things right again. You understand? Yeah! And you know, once I accept a job, I intend to do it properly. Let's kill that centipede together. Yeah! It's just that... Mm, I don't know exactly why yet, but Hiyakimaru can't seem to move very well inside that cloud. I think the two of us might have to handle that monster on our own. Mm. Huh? Has the cloud gotten bigger than it was before? Huh? Well, 
What's this? The monster's shedded skin. Not good. Centipedes are supposed to get even bigger after they molt. Get even bigger? It was already huge! And isn't it supposed to go away once it's had a fresh new bride? It might be mad about what happened from this afternoon. So what now? Mm. Oh, it has some sort of weakness to sunlight. If we can find a way to lure it out of the cloud and into the sun, then we can beat it. I think I have a pretty good idea on how to kill it. Then let's do it. A centipede slaughter. All right, a battle to avenge Big Sis. To you now, Saru. This one is for Big Sis. worry about it. Yakimaru's vision was gone. He sensed nothing but vacant darkness. So he located the yokai by listening to the sound of the arrows striking him. He's in trouble! I see. It's sound! What are you gonna do?
shot for it this time. There's a head on the tail, too! It's me. I don't believe it. You made it. I could never go on without you. Uh, uh, oh, man. Is it happening? Whoa, look at that. You just got your nose. Here is your well-earned reward. Thank you much. What am I supposed to do with this? Whatever you want. They're all over the place out here. What I wanted is gold, not useless yellow junk like this. You know, precious gold. I only had a few like that. The others are pretty close. Uh, oh, come on, man. I would like to know the name of the young man who saved my life. Dororo. Thank you, huh? Sir Dororo. So what do you two plan on doing now? We plan to live together in the village, since I am alone as well. Oh, good for you, Saru. I know, right? Oh, yes, your name. We need to think of a new one for you. Saru's fine by me. No, no, a name is very important, OK? You're starting to sound like you're my real sister. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So this new sense of yours, it's called smell. Uh, hang on, did you call me Dororo just now? That's the first time that you've said my name. <laughs> that was great! You pronounced it right in everything! Not bad for your first try. You've been going around smelling stuff ever since this morning. Haven't you had enough of that yet? Hmm? Uh. 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 Cut it out! Uh. 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 That's weird. The Tale of Tragedy. What do you want? Doro. Ro. <laughs> Doro. Body, hot touch. Kid sick, huh? Sorry, but I'm just a farmer. I don't have medicine. I can't help. Best of luck. We're going to be okay, child. Uh, 
Is that you, Mama? Do not worry. Just get some sleep. You are in a temple. Your friend brought you here so that you can feel better again. Big bro. Big bro! You mustn't. No, no, he can't! He's gonna try to leave me behind again! Do not worry, my child. He only went to go fetch you some more water. No! No one is going to leave you behind. I hate red spider lilies. They remind me of my papa and mama. Were they such terrible parents for you to bear that hate? No. Nothing like that. Papa and mama were extremely good to me. They were always warm and gentle. <laughs> hey, Papa, will you take me with you and the men next time? Only if your mama tells me it's okay. Those samurai bastards serves them right. Damn, it feels good, huh? Every last one of them shivering and shaking right down to their gourds. We're so strong right now, I bet even Daigo's army couldn't beat us. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Huh? Who should we go after next? Well... Let's see. Son, you need to go to your mother. But I want to listen to you guys. Da -da -da. I can horse around with you later, okay? Who do you? Mm. Mama! Oh. I want to go with Papa! I told you no already, sweetie. But why not? I can beat up the bad guys, too. Maybe when you get a little bit bigger, okay? But I said I want to go now, Mama! Come on, please! That'll be enough. Don't make me tie you to a tree again. What's with the puffed out cheeks, kiddo? Are you trying to be a squirrel? I'm no squirrel. What you doing? Throwing rocks. I can't use a katana, so I'll defeat the bad guys by throwing rocks at them, like this. Well, you got the right idea, at least, kid. But you want to know something? You cannot survive in this world on just strength alone, okay? Huh? They're coming! The samurai are attacking! Don't, don't, don't. You hide over there. What's the plan? They're back for revenge. You will pay for what you've done. You're nothing but outlaws. Ha! <laughs> Do not include us with the likes of such worthless scum. The only people we attack are you gutless samurai. <laughs> Oh, don't you worry. Your papa is still your papa. Well, yeah, all right. Now what, boss man? We will need to gather up some new men and regroup. If we were to run away, it would disgrace the men who died today. Ojia, we will have to stay on the move for a while. Yes, I understand. Swarming groups of bandits, known as brigands, scourged the land. Their cold brutality brought fear and terrified the hearts of the helpless. Eventually, samurai who'd lost their lords formed their own factions, and the poor quickly devoted themselves to them in order to survive. But Hibukuro's group was unique, consisting mainly of farmers 
who specifically only assaulted samurai. Hey, Papa. Hmm? Why do you go around the region beating up the samurai? That is how we go about teaching them an important lesson. That we all deserve respect as fellow living beings. Oh, really? So the samurai don't understand how to be good? Nah. I would say that they most likely got it through their thick skulls by now. What do you mean? Just take a look around. You've gathered up a rather skillful group of followers. Why don't you start thinking about the future and what it holds for you? If you can get yourself into a lord's favor, then you could get into a better position, boss man. Huh. Itachi, have you simply forgotten all the horrible things that were done to us? Because of this awful war the lord selfishly started, our parents and siblings were slaughtered like livestock. They even burned down the village. The village we built together. Look, you have to deal with your current situation, okay? You can't just wallow and base your life on the past forever, you know? Listen, we need to join forces with the samurai if we're ever gonna get ourselves out of the muck. You pathetic coward! Come on! I have no shame in my line of thinking. Say that one more time, and I will bury this blade right into your mouth. Of course, boss man. The Yanagimoto troops are worn out from waging war with Daigo. I'd say now is our perfect chance for this. Itachi, what have you done? Look, whether you like it or not, this whole region is going to be a battlefield. This is the age of the samurai, meaning that from now on, people can no longer afford to make a living being stubborn like you. I'm taking the rest of your men with me. You son of a bitch! I will tear you to shreds! <laughs> with those legs, you can barely stand anymore. Shame. Can't put me in my place. Boss man. Once named after the firebox. But the fire's out and you've been snuffed. <laughs> Honey! Itachi! something to eat. Come on. Uh, Papa, is this what hell is like? I don't know, but it might actually be better than this. Uh. Because they covered what became a battlefield and soaked up the blood of the dead. Huh? Do not speak such nonsense. You're going to scare the poor child. Please, don't! It took years and years for us to build this village into what it is today! It's all we have! Silence! There must be absolutely no obstacles in the path of our army's attack. Listen, these are the Lord's orders. No, please! How the hell are we supposed to survive without our homes or any crops? Hands off, peasant! Ah! Burn it to the ground! That's 
so mean. The lords and samurai think they can do anything they want if under the pretext of war. Oh? Please, dear. Just stop. Let's go. You there! Uh, stop! I could never forget that giant pole sword of yours. Our compound was raided by brigands. All my friends were murdered in the attack. I never understood at the time what quirk of fate made me the lone survivor. Now I fully understand. Himakura! Kill him! Make him pay! <laughs> 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 This war will end someday, and when it does, you will be able to eat all you want. You mustn't give up until then, okay, Dororo? Okay. You there, miss. Yes, sir? I understand it may be none of my business, but... If you and your child need anything, samurai are giving out free meals over at the temple. But you should hurry. Itachi. <gasps> well, what a surprise. What is this? Why are you here? That's easy. I managed to place myself into a lord's favor. But well, now I've got to reestablish myself on the battlefield. There are lots of brigands out here. And not to mention, this is the quickest way for me to gather up some necessary men. Tell me, what happened to Hibukuro? Uh. I'm sorry. Dororo, it's been a while, huh? You're looking good. Or maybe not. Hmm? Don't! Uh -huh. Dororo! You need to listen to what your mother tells you. Okay, Mama. Uh, we're about out, folks. There isn't enough here for everyone. Wait here for a second, okay? Uh, sir, please, may I have some, sir? Uh, you don't even have a bowl to use. And well, we don't have any of the ones that we brought with us. I'm really uh, sorry. I must feed my baby. Pour it here. Um, uh, oh, but, uh... uh do as she says. Um... Uh, Yes, sir. Mama, does that hurt you? I'm fine. Now, don't rush and eat it too fast, okay? Don't worry, it's all yours. I honestly didn't want to see you living your life like this. Sunken so low. Mm -hmm. uh, no! Uh. Nobody can survive on just strength alone these days. Use what you got here. Gotta learn to use your head, kid, or you'll lose it.
going to be fine. I just need to rest. Please, Mama! Hold on! I'll find some food for you to eat, Mama! Come here, sweetie. The, the war will end someday. Please, you mustn't give up until... That's why I'm never going to give up. Not to, to some war. I know not how you two are related to each other, but it must be very difficult traveling with such a young girl who has suffered so much. I pray with all of my heart and soul that Buddha will bless you on your rightful journey. Ga gon cho se gan. The nun said I was completely laid out sick with a three-day cold. I honestly don't remember anything from when I was there at the temple. Hey, uh, thank you for not leaving me behind back there. Oh, I forgot! I know you can't see, but she washed my clothes while I was sick. Look! They smell good now! Uh, hang on. That means I had my clothes off in front of you. Um, so like, did uh, that nun happen to say anything about me? <sighs> so she did say something. Mm. What did she say? Hey, I, I know you can hear me. Just say something. Come on, for real, tell me. Talk to me. You can't play deaf anymore. Seriously, tell me what she said. Tell me. A villager spoke of a midwife who once worked here. Apparently, she sent a baby with no arms and legs afloat down the river some years ago. And three days ago, a commander pursuing an Asakuta spy was severely injured by an unknown man who attacked him. The commander also said that the unknown man's arms were both made of some sort of prosthetics. The Tale of Tahomaru. There hasn't been any rain for two months now. If this drought continues, it will affect the coming harvest. Lord. The neighboring Asakura clan is growing restless. We have received reports that they are gathering troops. They are now amassing along the border where the standoff continues. We should take action before they raise an army. There it is again. That grave look whenever father and mother are keeping something from me. Mutsu, Hyogo, I have a task for you. And this is something we should keep to ourselves.
must be the cursed boy. Is it that he still lives and is trying to take himself back from you? Tell me! Just as I thought. Are you all done? Uh oh. Anyway, did you hear what that merchant guy said? He said the land over there is really rich and bountiful. And that the people there can eat all the white rice they want. So, amazing, right? We are going there next for sure. Make some money, and then we'll gorge ourselves silly. Uh, sea breams, dried abalones, manju buns. Manju? They're soft, sweet, and extra super yummy. Get ready, cause you're gonna love them. <laughs> oh, I've been curious about something for a while now. That mark on your amulet? It's a family crest, right? Does it belong to your family? I've drugged him. He should answer anything that you ask. My father has given you special orders, has he not? Mm -hmm. And what were those orders? For me to find a child that disappeared years ago. And an old midwife as well, sir. Find a child? Why is my father searching for a child? Because he... Answer me! He's tried to bite off his tongue. Is he going to die? No, the cut is not nearly deep enough for that. It looks like the drug must have weakened him. Hmm. Father, please, tell me what is weighing on your mind. The Asakura clan has been showing suspicious movements. Hmm, as they do. But Father, I must ask, why are you spending time searching for some child from over a decade ago? I am wondering about Mother's Goddess of Mercy. Does that headless thing have anything to do with this affair? Please answer me, Father, I... Uh... This subject is none of your concern! But I... That is all. Hmm. <coughs> How can you still be alive? I am surprised you found me. As a young child, this is where you would run to. And we would always have to come to fetch you. Every time. <laughs> young man.
master. Let us return home. A child, huh? Then I suppose I must still just be a child to my father. That is why he will not send me to war, and he keeps things from me. I have never seen my father with that expression before. This secret about the child must be of great consequence. Hmm? Hmm. What's going on? Please, good sir, have mercy on us! Please, you can't just abandon us! Enough! Let go of me, Phil! Let go or I'll... What seems to be the problem? Uh, sir Tahomer. Well, we were passing through this village on our way back home, you see, when these people stopped us. Lord, please save us! The entire village is going to be picked off one by one and eaten by the monster! A monster, you say? Please, go on. We thought they were just ripples on the lake's surface, but then it suddenly turned into a whirlpool. Then as the current draws you toward the center, something that looks just like a giant human mouth is waiting for you. It eats people whole, the boat and everything. Many of our villagers have fallen victim to this terrible monster. We are desperate. A whirlpool with a human mouth. It does indeed sound like an evil spirit. Fear not. I shall rid you of this foul beast plaguing you. <laughs> Sir Tahomer, surely you don't believe what these people are saying, do you? And you have no business fighting monsters, even if this drivel were true. My people are not telling lies. My people are suffering. You would dare tell me to desert them? No, no, that's not what I meant. If the monster frightens you, then you are free to make your way home. Sir Tahomer! And you too as well. If you wish to scurry back home, you may do so. Right, you must be joking. Hmm. Young master, we would even follow you to hell. Hmm. <clears throat> what the? What's wrong? Sir, the ore is stuck on something. <sighs> With a few more holes like this, and the boat would have gone down. 
It may be disadvantageous for us to fight on board. Master, what now? Hmm. A word, young master. The monster consumes its prey with its mouth. We should embed explosives within our clothes, and when it comes, we explode once it eats. It has a hard outside, soft inside. We can surely destroy the monster that way. Whoever goes on this mission is dead. Nothing more than suicide. <clears throat> we shall do it, sir. I just said you would die. We will not. The two of us are here so that we can protect you. And we could not do that if we were dead. So we will survive. Master. Look, take in these lands. Mm -hmm. The mountains are a deep green. The streams are flowing wide. And the paddy fields are full. This is all Lord Daigo's land. But I heard it was not like this before I was born. Floods kept the rice from growing. People chewed on tree roots just to keep from starving. And who rebuilt this land to make it so rich? It was Daigo Kagemitsu. And I am his son, Tahomaru. With that power, no monster can ever stop me from slaying it. Your duty is not to go out and die for me. Just trust me. That's all I ask of you. Master. Sir! Uh, Hyogo, huh? could you lift me up, please? <clears throat> Come on! Higher. <clears throat> That's it. Mutsu, gather everyone! This is our only way to defeat the beast. It shall not be easy, but... I know you can do it. You are, you son of a bitch. Open the sluice! <laughs> there are several small lakes scattered around the perimeter of the main lake. We connected one of them with a sluice and added another sluice meant for draining. This was the result. I can see you clearly now! I shall not fail this time! Everyone should stay up here! Mutsu! Hyogo! Monster! Amazing. Sir Tahomaru! 
Please take revenge on that thing for us! your misery. Hold the sluice now! Who are you? Tale of the Banmon, Part One. Tell me, who are you? And your arms, they're not. Whoa, hey! Aren't you even gonna thank us for helping? If it wasn't for my friend here, your samurai buddy over there would be mashed up in that monster's belly right now. <gasps> I know not who either of you are, but I do. Appreciate your help. <laughs> Don't mention it, my friend. The villagers are very happy, and they can now live peacefully. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, is there something wrong? Sorry. He's blind, so he kind of sees things with his soul instead. Uh, he's blind? Uh, oh. He can fight that skillfully mm. without sight or arms? Yeah, that's what makes my big bro so awesome! We've been traveling all around dicing up monsters left and right! And I don't mean the little wimpy ones either. We're after the big strong ones, you know? The nasty monsters and demon gods! Huh? Rescue fee. <laughs> Thank you! By the way, we heard that there's a rich province somewhere pretty close to this area. You know where it is? You must be speaking of Lord Daigo's land. 
You will reach the castle if you proceed in this direction for half a day. Great. Thanks. Let's get going. Please let me know your name. Hyakimaru. Hyakimaru. Lord Daigo's land, huh? He was dressed fancy, so I'm guessing he might be somebody important there. Master, I am ashamed. Do not be. I am the one to blame, Hyogo. I woefully underestimated the monster's strength. If it were in the dojo, I am certain I would not have been defeated. But if in a real battlefield, in a real battle... It is a useless comparison. For one thing, Master, compared to a mere lowly vagabond, you have rules as the heir to this great land. Terrific goods. Please take your time and have a look. The demon baby born, the deep dark red. Shall we go and feed it to the mountain beast? Should we feed it to the ocean instead? Wrap it up, send a drift, now it is out of sight. <gasps> than a day to go through all this stuff. But we should eat something first. Oh, cool! Over there, it's a play! Yeah. For countless years on end, it has been the acts of this wicked demon god who has tormented my great people of Daigo. Upon my name as the Lord of Daigo, I, Daigo Kagamitsu, shall now defeat the cruel demon god. Oh, great Canon, goddess of mercy, by your benevolent brilliance, please save the good people of Daigo. Do protect our lord. That guy's pretty amazing, isn't he? That guy? Did you really just say that out loud? That man is the great lord Daigo Kagamitsu, who made this land so rich. Hmm. How about that? Who's a demon killer like you? I have now vanquished the demon god. All foes who defy me shall meet their end, and thus my domain, the great land of Daigo, will be protected forever and everlastingly. Oh my, what an unfortunate thing to happen to those kids. Mm. So hey, Monk, did you come here because of the rumors about this place? In a way, this land is like none other in these hardened times. I was wondering what blessing it was that made it so. Lord Daigo defeated many demon gods, and they are all enshrined up there. I'm planning to take a little stroll and check it out. We've got no business with monsters that are already long dead. We're only after the living ones, rampaging ones we can take out. Is that so? Well, now then. I see. You killed some humans as well. You'd best be careful. No, you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> 
everyone's so happy. Hey, yes, boy. So looking for some I fun. guess it's probably safe to say that there's no work for us to do around here. Let's look around a bit, and then we can head off to find some place more profitable. Yeah? Sound good? Big bro? What? Hey! I say it's the curse of the bond mold. Hmm? And I bet that's why it hasn't rained around here in so damn long. Shh. Watch what you say. Be quiet. The villages I passed through to get here were all dry, too. If it keeps going on like this, then when fall comes, we're in trouble. Kyakimaru? It won't. You know Lord Daigo's land is forever protected by the Goddess of Mercy? Yeah, but it's been like this ever since the Banmon incident. And Asakura's been acting strange, too. Hello there! Huh? So about this incident, what's the story? What? A blind man who was missing both his arms? Yes. Even one of his legs is a prosthetic as well. They said they travel the lands defeating monsters and demons. If he had not shown up, I would have surely perished. They bragged that they were only after strong demon gods. And he truly did slay a huge beast with just a single slash. His name is Shakimaru. It was part of a huge fort that protected our land from the Asakura clan's army. There was a fierce battle, and everything except one section of the wall was burned down. But that was the first time Daigo's army drove Asakura's forces away. And ever since then, Lord Daigo's influence has grown. Whoa! That's one big wall! They say the Goddess of Mercy to whom Lord Daigo's wife prays dwells within it. But recently, the Asakura clan has been making a resurgence. They capture Daigo's soldiers and spies and nail them to the wall. They are trying to sully the Goddess of Mercy's blessing. And that has attracted ungodly beasts. They have begun gathering nightly, so no one goes near it anymore. Some say this might be the wrath of the demon gods that Lord Daigo defeated long ago. Hyakimaru, are you sensing something? Is it a demon god? Strong. Very. Mm. Hey! <laughs> Watch yourselves. If you go any further past the wall, then you're done for. Uh, what? What the? You're just a little kid. Don't scare me like that! Hmm? See there? They're Asakura sentries. If they catch you, it's over. They'll nail you to the Bonmon. Seriously? There's nothing of value to find. If you want to rob corpses, go someplace else. We're not thieves! We came here to exterminate the monster of the Bonmon. Huh? The monster? Actually, this used to be where our village was. But all of a sudden, that Bonmon got built and... No! No! My home is on the other side! Let me go! Let that go side me. is Asakura territory now! You'll be killed! Mama! 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 Everyone else abandoned the village. But I'm never giving up on them. I will cross over. I'll get to the other side someday. I will get home. <laughs> we can help. Huh? So the army keeps watch during the day. But who keeps watch during the nighttime? Are you crazy? It's even worse at night. You guys have no idea, do you? Snarling ghostly beasts popping out all over the place? Don't and they... you worry. Oh. My partner here can certainly handle the situation. Do you really mean it? About exterminating the monsters? Well, actually, we usually don't do this thing for free, but you did feed us, so I'll make an exception. My name's Dororo, and this fellow beside me is Hyakumaru. <laughs> I'm Skedaku. My boy, 
He is alive. My lady, the Lord is... What are you going to do to him? I will not forgive any who threaten my land. There are no exceptions to this. Do you think you and I should go unpunished? What? Sacrificing the life of an innocent child. We will pay for what we did. In fact, we may be paying already. Then tell me, wife, are you saying I should have simply just allowed the land of Daigo to go to hell? My lord, is it truly the well-being and prosperity of your people that you wish for? Or is it to defeat other domains and have the name Daigo known through the land? <laughs> is that your true motive? Matters of state are quite beyond a woman. You say Daigo himself? He left a short time ago with a small troop of soldiers. It was too solemn to be seen as a night out for pleasure, and he did not want to make a big deal out of it. Hmm. <laughs> See? The Asakura sentries are leaving. It's almost time. Uh, hey, Skeruku, would you mind telling me what your mama's like? Well, uh, fair-skinned. She's the prettiest in the village, even if she is a little chubby. Not only that, she's known all over for the best mochi. Oh, yeah? Tell you what, if we can meet up with her, you can try some. Really? All right! It's here. <gasps> Bunmon monster. Uh, uh, there's more. Stupid Scaracu. A traveling man with a kid. <clears throat> he is someone who looks to be about my age, or perhaps a bit older. Not sure. <clears throat> hey, you haven't paid! Master. Here. He must still be near here somewhere. He cannot have gone far. What are you planning on doing, even if you do find the vagabond still in the area? You said my father was shocked when he heard your report about the man. Father must have had a connection. There is no other way. I am certain. You mean... Father and mother's secret. A baby who disappeared 16 years ago. 
It is possible that man may very well have the answers to everything they kept from me. The demon baby born, hmm? deep black bread. Shall we feed it to the mountain face? Uh, hey! Woman! Master, she's... What do you mean by demon child? And what does destroy Daigo mean? Answer me! Do not listen to such a disturbed person's nonsense. It is the curse of the demons! The demons have eaten the innocent baby! Its arms, legs, nose, mouth, skin, everything it had! They ate it all! <laughs> and now the child has come back to return the curse to the land of Daigo! This is very, very bad. A father who offered his son to the demon gods for the sake of his own ambitions. And a son attempting to escape from the darkness and regain what was taken from him. Here, in Daigo's own land, which thrived only due to that boy's sacrifice, the two shall meet. The color of Daigo's soul could be seen in the flames. Yet even so... Yakimaru found himself drawn to them. Who are you? The Tale of the Banmon, Part 2. Tell me what you are. You ignorant simpleton! He is not someone the likes of you can speak to. Do you not know of Lord Daigo Kaigamitsu, the ruler of this land? <laughs> Where did he? What are you? Why are you alive? You damn, wretched, born demon child! Kill him! After him! Now! Look, let us return for now. Are you still alive, boy? There he is! This way! After him! Why are you alive? You damn, wretched, born demon child! I am a wretched, born demon child. You bastards! Let me go! Now, damn it! Skeroku! Dororo. You've been nothing but a pain in the ass, kid! Let that boy go! 
All he came here to do is try to find his mother. He just wants to go home. Shut up! All who go past the Bon Moan are people hailing from the land of monsters. <sighs> land of monsters? Are you okay? Are you hurt? Mm -mm. I guess you weren't able to make it home, huh? There was no home left. Huh? The whole village. They said they were all massacred. I bet Mama was too. <laughs> Skaraku, you'll be all right. Come on now, trust me. Look, you got me here with you. And I just know that Hiyakimaru's gonna bust through that door and save us. And then we can all travel around together, okay? Oh, don't cry. Yes, no more tears. Uh, don't fret. Uh, Daigo's people are protected by the Goddess of Mercy. Goddess of Mercy? Yes. And that's why the Asakura clan can't get past the Bonmon, despite it being a lone wall. The Bonmon is possessed by a demon god, right? And the Asakura soldiers, they call it the Land of Monsters. Well, those who try to attack Daigo's land are the real demons. They will undoubtedly receive divine punishment. Huh? I've seen that crest before. This, my boy, is the family crest of the Daigo clan. Huh? Uh, uh. Hey! There's a hole! It leads outside! It's far too small for us to crawl through. Well, we're small enough to fit it. Let's make a run for it. We're gonna be killed if we stay down here. I don't care. I can meet Mama this way. No, you dummy! You can't just give up now! Come on, get up! <laughs> no, I can't do it! Look, there's no way to make it up that high anyway. I'll make it out. I'm not dying in here, of all places. I made a promise to myself. Never to lose to war or samurai. You hang in there, okay? I'll come back here with Hiyakimaru to save you. Dororo... Young master, please calm down for a moment. Let go of me! Mother, please! Is there something wrong, Tohomaru? Mother, did you give birth to a baby before me? A baby whose limbs, eyes, nose, and ears were all taken away by demons? <laughs> it was your child, and also my brother. You and father fed to the demons 16 years ago. Mother! I have not forgotten for even a moment. That rat! Assemble now! We can't escape! Archers! Don't let him get away! Get off of me, you little punk! Go on, Kurono! I'm not gonna give up either! I'll be waiting for you! Skerogo! Keep going! I'll hold him up! Be careful! He was just sent down the river, not knowing anything, and all for our land? And yet you still call yourselves parents? We could do it because we were parents. Father. Tohomaru. You cannot understand. The long and hellish days this land went through at one time. Repeated famines, epidemics, natural disasters, and invasions by neighboring lords trying to take over. By then, this land was on the verge of certain death. My deal with the demon gods saved it. And now all who live here rejoice in its richness. You did not do it for the people. In truth, father, you only did it to fulfill your own ambitions. The Lord's gains are also his people's gains. And for them I sacrifice none other than my own flesh and blood. As a samurai, there is no shame in that. But you... 
Intruder! Uh, Yakimaru! You damn, wretched, born demon child! Assemble! Assemble! My son! <laughs> Mutsu! Yogo! Don't! My lord! Are you hurt? I am fine. You must kill it! Do not let it escape! Yes, sir. My lord. Father, he is my older brother. Tahomaru! Do you intend to sacrifice this land for that brother? Ah. Without assuming any pain, you would shove the people down into hell once again, just for your own sense of what is right? <laughs> if you are prepared to do so, then travel to the hole of hell. Go and break my deal with the demon gods yourself. Then your older brother will get his body back. Though our land will perish in return! My son! You damn, wretched, born demon child! You're all right. Dororo. I'm so glad. But right now, we need to help Skeroku. He's in trouble! Nobody can help you now. You will be crucified on the Bon Mon as a declaration of war. It seems the yokai that haunted it have all been driven away. So, now that we don't have that problem, our lord is ready to launch a massive offensive. Get moving! Why are the elderly and the injured being called to arms? Is the Asakuda army really that huge? Nah, I heard that some intruder got into the compound and now they find themselves short-handed. The Lord defeated them. Rubbish. This is the only one that has been somewhat sealed away. But even that is somewhat uncertain. This is not something in which an old man should get involved. How can that poor kid possibly bear the brunt of so many demon gods by himself? Yakimaru. I know not who has named you. But the name tells much of how you have lived. It's hard to believe war is near when it's so peaceful like this. Protecting these lands means I must kill my brother. Although that would also be a crime against humanity. Am I not right? <clears throat> we are in no position to answer such a thing. And thankfully so. That is not very helpful. However... I will say this. My brother and I were taken by the enemy when we were young. Had Daigo's land not flourished, then we would not even be here now. Oh my. Is he... There a problem? Oh no. I beg your pardon. Please excuse me. He is very much like Hiyakimaru. Onward! And march! Look, the way these demon god statues have been broken, it is no natural matter. Some of them are still intact. Young master, I suspect the deal between the demon gods and the lord is already being broken. Due to my brother, I'd guess. You know Daigo Kagemitsu is the lord of the land, right? Turns out his family crest is the same as the one you have on your amulet case. So... Tell me, what exactly did the Lord's wife call you when she saw you standing there? My son. <laughs> then that's it! We found them! We finally found your parents! That's great! And you've got a brother? That's pretty awesome. Congratulations! A brother? 
Doesn't that make you happy? And my mother. Scatterco's mom is already... No, Scatterco hasn't given up yet. Come on, let's go! Gotta hurry, before they nail him to the Bonmon! What now, young master? Without assuming any pain, you would shove the people down into hell once again, just for your own sense of what is right? There is nothing for us to fear from the Bonmon now. Here is a gift from the Asakura. Loose. Mr. No! Asakura bastards! We need not wait for our lord anymore. Attack! current situation would be that the wheels of destiny are about to make a turn in earnest. And to see it through would be my destiny. <laughs> Please, my lady, wait! For years, all I did was pray, never knowing where my words had fallen. What the hell is that?! <laughs> it's the yokai of the Bonmon! My lord, what is this? This is the work of demons. My lord? Then that must be... I, I, I knew it had to be that guy! He's the one who made oh. me like this! Your younger brother. I knew it. You see that? I told you so. Your brothers. Listen to me. What our father did to you, I cannot even pretend to understand. He fed his newborn son to the demon gods in exchange for this land's prosperity. That's your demon child. Wait, what? So then the one who made him like this is... That's right. Our father, Lord Daigo. He knows. Sacrifice must be made to protect one's domain! Sacrifice? You're disgusting! Brother, if the deal with the demon gods is broken, then this land will perish. So, in a way, brother, you are the only demon here who is threatening our lands at the moment! Very well said, Tahomaru. So you can see why... I must kill you! Master! He is mine alone! Come on, this can't be happening. No, no, no! Skeroku, is that you? <laughs> it's tight, really tight. I can't get it undone. The sword could cut it in one go, but. Dororo, almost got it. Yokai Fox, huh? It's coming back! Dororo! I'm gonna have to try something else! <laughs> You won't make him! You gotta get out of here! Damn it! Big bro! There he is. <sighs> hey, where'd it go? It got sucked into the Banmon. But that's... I don't know why, either. My lady! <sighs> My wife? Mother. Uh. Uh. Mm. Yakimaru. 
how you must resent us. Me, your own mother who couldn't protect you on that fateful day. And your father who fed you to the demon gods. And the people of Daigo who live so merrily, feasting on your sacrifice. So cruel. You don't know the hell that he's been put through. You have no idea! Wife, even Tahomaru sees the rationale now. When will you be able to understand? Yakimaru, please forgive me. I know that I... I cannot... I cannot... Save you! No matter how immoral it may be, no matter how much we know you have suffered, in the end, all our people could ever hope to do is beg for your forgiveness. Our land will become like a Shura Titan, continuing to devour you. So this is fate. Hyakimaru, I shall not allow you to suffer this alone anymore. Demon gods, if you wish for any more of us as penance... <gasps> There's no reason for us to hang around this place anymore. You're gonna come too, right? Mm-hmm. Skaduku! Hmm? Huh? Skaduku! <gasps> Mama? Mama! Skaduku! Mama! You're alive! Mama! We all ran and hid so they couldn't find us. We were waiting for the guards at the Balmon to loosen up. <laughs> Skaduku! I'm happy for you, Skaduku. <sighs> But they're only alive because the demon gods are eating Hyakimaru's body. <clears throat> hey! Don't worry. You've always got me with you. trouble sleeping again kill demons no you can't you gotta get some sleep or you'll go crazy huh. hey no wait wait up a second oh, wait for me i don't really understand you know i mean why didn't you get any of your body parts back after you beat that creepy fox demon god i kill until i get it all back well yeah i know that but Listen to me. You've been pushing too hard ever since we left. You hardly get any rest, and you've been out defeating monsters, like, non-stop. Your body is not going to last... Whoa! In a way, brother, you are the only demon here who is threatening our lands at the moment. I cannot... I cannot... Save you! Big bro... Even if you don't have a mother and a father, you can still go on living. <laughs> don't worry, you'll always have me with you. Wait for me! The Tale of the Blank-Faced Akala Yeah? Where is that? 
It is just past that mountain. Thanks, mister! Guess what? He said there's a hot spring up ahead. Have you ever been to one? It's a hot bath with water from the mountains. It would be a perfect place to get some rest. Hot springs ease you in both body and soul. That's what my mama always... Uh, uh, I mean, anyways, let's go, okay? Asakura has retreated, and our land is now blessed with rain. As of now, the agreement with the demon gods has still not been revoked. But, at this rate, it is only a matter of time. Please, stop! Let go! You're not really my wife, are you? Like that, let go of me! Stop it! What are you doing? This is the perfect place to spend the night. You should probably get yourself some rest. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go gather some firewood and berries. Oh, I forgot. This place might be some bandits hideout, so watch out. Don't kill anyone, just kind of beat them up, okay? There. Okay, that should just about do it. Oh. Do I hear water? Wow, that is so gorgeous. Oh. Ah! What the? Oh, it's a statue. Freak me out, little boy. Ah! No, no, no! Even if you hate me, I taste bad. Besides, Hiyakimaru is my. Mama? Are you saying that I'm your mother? <laughs> it's me, Dororo. Mama? Dororo? Right over this way! Now, now. Please Almost do not there. pull so hard, it hurts. Wake up! Take a look at this person! Is she a yokai? No. Oh, good. A human, then. I can't tell. Uh, Very nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Okaka. Okaka? And, well, this is my home that you seem to be in. Uh, uh, <sighs> <sighs> so you live here all alone? That's right. The pilgrims who occasionally visit the waterfall will leave food. I've been able to survive on that. Oh, the waterfall from earlier. So, hey, why doesn't that giant Buddha statue have a face? Uh, well, that is a bit of a complicated story from ages ago. Long ago, a Buddhist sculptor came across a waterfall one day. 
and noticed a boulder eroded into the shape of the deity Akala. The sculptor was originally famed for making statues of bodhisattvas with kind faces, but as it became the era of the samurai, people began asking for the powerful face of Akala. And thus, the sculptor was sadly forgotten. Yearning to regain everyone's attention, he began carving into the boulder. He carved the body, the hands, and legs. But as he began on the face, a thought struck him. He wanted to create a face more fierce and magnificent than any other Akala ever seen. Yet, all he could carve were the kind faces he knew before. For years and years, he carved and destroyed, carved and destroyed. The sculptor eventually grew old, and in the end, without being able to create a face, died full of regret. Oh, wow. That was kind of a weird little story, don't you think? Well, I suppose you're too young to understand. Oh, that looks good! Here, <laughs> eat up. Thanks so much for the... Uh, Dororo? It's just that this rice porridge reminds me of my mama. Oh, yes, mm. that's right. You did call me mama earlier, didn't you? Mm hmm Do I really look like her that much? Uh, like pretty much exactly like her. No matter where I look at you, I see my mama. Even your voices. Uh. Uh. Oh, dear. Seems he's fallen asleep. He hasn't been sleeping well these days. So do you mind not waking him up? Mm-hmm. It gets pretty cold at night around here. I'm so glad. Thanks for the food. Um, hey, uh. Yes, sweetie? Can I, um, maybe, uh. Can I call you mama? I mean, is that okay? Huh? It's just that I, I thought it might be easier to say than calling you Okaka. <laughs> you like being pampered, huh? The Roro. <laughs> That's fine. You can call me whatever you like. Uh, mm. <laughs> Mama! <laughs> yes, my dear. <laughs> Maybe because you're so familiar, I feel like I'm starting to get really sleepy. Really? I was worried the drug wasn't working. What are you talking about? The story of the sculptor I told you about? I never actually got to the end. After the sculptor died full of regret for not providing a face for the statue, the Akala was possessed by a spiteful yokai to take revenge for the sculptor. It was angry. It wanted a face. The Akala revived the sculptor from the dead and commanded him to offer live humans in order to supply their faces to the Akala. And I am that sculptor. If I use the Akala's power to read one's thoughts, I can change my face or voice as I please. A child's face will not fit on the Akala, but his face on the other hand. Dororo? Dororo? Mama! You, you like, like being pampered, pampered, huh, Dororo? I just... Then perhaps I should give that face of yours to the Akala! <laughs> Big bro! <laughs> Hang tight. I'm coming. I'm on my way to save you.
Dororo! Why would you come here? Stop, Mama! Give him... me... I left you untied for a reason. Why didn't you run away? You shouldn't be here! I will never let you take... him away! You should leave while you can. I'm not gonna leave him! I promised I would stay by his side no matter what! You need to get out of here! <laughs> You slept hard. Really hard. Right now, Hyakimaru. You have done enough. There's no need to damage it. Wait, that voice. It's Lady Daigo. Come, be, be with, with your mother. mother. No! But you are... Ogaka. Huh? What? Why is it... Did my face not change for you? Do, do you... Do you, do you not, not know your, your own, own mother's face? Your face! I need your face! Give it to me! I've been searching so long for a perfect face like yours! Please stop this! Please, Mama! Be quiet! For the sake of the Akala, I must have his face! His is the face I have been after all this time! Why does it have to be so magnificent? Isn't it enough to just have eyes, a nose, and a mouth? But you... you wanted to have so much more! It turned you into a monster that tricks people and lures them to their death! A monster? Why? How could you do such horrible things? Think about all those poor people! They had their faces cut off for nothing! Think of the pain... The misery... The sadness... Face of splendor. More spectacular than any other Akala. How then? Could I? How could I? Since when? Since when? Since when have I turned into... I can't... I just... can't do it anymore. Oh. Oh. like the Buddha. It's like... It's like the Buddha.
I'm really sorry. I mean, here I was trying to be more reliable. Instead, I got you mixed up in a mess and reminded you of bad things. And on top of that, I am always the one having to be rescued by you. But the next time you get into trouble, I promise I will be right there helping you. <clears throat> Dang it. <laughs> Why am I being so clumsy? <laughs> Dorara. Huh? I am fine. Hot spring. Let's go. Listen, uh, about that monster appearing near the hot springs, it was a lie. I just wanted to go. I know. <laughs> oh, this is it. Here it is. Beautiful. This is the first time I've ever been in one. Uh, don't look, okay? I know you can't actually see, but... are really stinging uh, it feels great I'm guessing this might be what paradise feels like and I love it mm -hmm. <laughs> you uh, could be right uh, might not be a bad idea to just die and find out huh ah, monster! <laughs> uh, it, it's you what rock did you crawl out from under well that's not a very nice thing to say to an old friend I've been in here for hours, and look who shows up. I swear, we must have some inescapable bond. Yay, it's that huh? time! <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Watch where you're jumping, you dumb little turd! Oh, no! Sorry about that. They are no different than the monkeys around here. Please forgive them. Where did you two come from? Where? We haven't ever uh, seen you around here. Uh, where are you? <laughs> We're kind of in the middle of a long, important journey. Huh? Journey? Where are you going? Huh? Yeah, where are you going? Uh, well, we, uh, we haven't really decided yet. Aww. Is he your older brother? Nah, he's just my big bro. Huh? Uh, what's that? Huh? It's on your back. There's something written on it. Yeah. Huh? What the heck are you talking about? Don't stare at me! Um, I think it's like a map or something. Map? It's a map! It's a map! Yeah, it is! It's definitely a map! It's a map! It's a map! It's a map! Let me see it again! Stop! Stop staring at me like I'm some sort of freak show! Aw, come Wait, on! Let's see it! Enough already! Come on! Come on, let me it's see! So come on! Let me see, please! Does it hurt, dear? It's not what I wanted. But now that it's come to this, there is no way my hopes will be realized. <laughs> Damn it. All that money I managed to scavenge from the samurai. I cannot let it go to waste. Instead, that money must be given to the peasants. They can use it as their capital, so they can make a living for themselves. Listen, you need to make sure that Dororo understands. There is a reason that we have been fighting so hard this entire time. Hmm. Yes. <clears throat> the money is hidden past the North Cape, on the rocky shore along the reef. If you take... Wait. Huh? Mm -mm. It is better if I am unaware, lest I will be tempted to use it. Not for any great ambition, but just for the sake of our child. Engrave it here. So that way, I will not be able to lay eyes on it. Your life's ambition. I shall carry half of it for you, my love. And the other half. Tale of Sabame.
How very interesting. It seems to only appear whenever your body warms up. Uh, that was the first time I've ever taken a warm bath before. I never would have thought that there would be something like that hidden on my back. Curious. It would appear as though your parents have given you quite a burden to bear. Just a little while. Right before my mama died. Listen closely. You must remember this map well. Huh? This is the dream for which your father risked his life. You're going to inherit it and keep it with you forever. She said the other half would always be somewhere within my reach. And if I were to ever meet someone that I felt I could truly trust, I would be able to find out what it means at that time. I see. Well, I totally did not get what she meant back then. And honestly, I had forgotten all about it. This is good, you know. You both are blessed with more choices from which to choose. Huh? Say that you defeat all the demon gods and get his body back. What comes after all that is done? Hmm? Money can be a nice thing, you know. If you can eat until full, then you become more emotionally calm. <laughs> you will be able to focus more on your surroundings and begin pondering tomorrow. When one is living at the edge of starvation, to be able to carry through with one's purpose is something only a handful can do. Even if you two go out there and defeat all the demon gods you want, it will not end up changing the world very much. However, that image you carry on your back can move people and change the world. That map will be the source of vast power. <laughs> well, in other words, at least you have other choices now. <laughs> You could find the money and have some fun with it, or perhaps use it to build your own new domain. Traveling to a distant foreign country might not be a bad idea. Wait, do what? You should probably take some time and really think about it. Though, it all comes down to you, young man. For whether you insist on destroying the land of Daigo in exchange for your body, well, that is another matter. What are you going to do from here on out? Kill the demon gods. That's not what I meant. Think about what the monk said. Let's say you defeat all the demon gods and get your whole body back. After that, what are you going to do? Well, what do you think I should do then? I just... I do not know what that would be. Hey, hello? Dang it! It wouldn't kill you to at least listen to me every once in a while, you know? Hey! Jeez, hmm? you just left me behind back there. You are the worst. Ugh. Demon gods. Help me! You're crushing me! Help me out! I'm dying here! Not a demon god. But it's still a big, hunky, stinky monster! Help me out here! Come on, I mean it! You gotta help me. This big pink infant is going to crush me to death. Jeez, 
I think I'm the one that could use some num nums around here. Hmm? Whoa! Look at this! It's a temple! And it's all burnt up, too. At least we'll be able to stay out of the night's dew. Maybe. Hmm? Oh. Oh. What's wrong? Pee -pee. Uh, you gotta be kidding me! You know I can't take care of that for you, right? Pee -pee. Uh, back off! Leave me out of this! in some bushes. Uh, what? Oil? Oh. Why would there be oil here? So does that mean the fire was set on purpose? Uh -huh! Quit that! I thought I was gonna have a heart attack! We do not have time for this nonsense right now! Just let me go, okay? <laughs> what? Listen, I have no clue what you eat in the first place, and second too. And as far as your special monster food, we... Uh, your food wouldn't happen to be... Ah! No, don't eat me! I promise you I taste really bad. I'm disgusting! Oh, God, please! Little help here. Anytime! Ouch. I did not expect travelers today. I find your sort most brave and commendable. You probably are not aware... But it is dangerous here at night. A yokai tends to appear. A yokai, huh? If you do not mind, I would like it if you would come to my residence. What? I cannot stand by and watch a person get eaten to death inside my village. That will not do. I rule the villages in this area. My name is Sabame. Come with me and tell me the tales of your travels. I enjoy such things. some sort of demon monster, is he? No, but strange. Lord Sabame, good evening. Out on watch again? You're always such a hard-working man. Oh, now. I am just out here protecting my village as the Lord is meant. Thanks to you, Lord Sabame, we feel safe and secure here. Mm. Um, come to think of it, where did that thing go anyway? This is my humble place of residence, so please, by all means, do come inside. This is our seasonal dance. How do you like your meal? More, please. A lot more. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're a great guy, mister. 
treating total strangers like us to such an incredible feast. I do so love hearing travelers' adventures, since I myself have never left these village lands. Oh, yeah? But I bet you've got some interesting stories to tell yourself. Like that yokai at the burned ruins over the hill. <clears throat> A rather unpleasant tale to tell. In the past, there was a nunnery up there.
You having to treat us to breakfast, too. Given we are in the countryside, I cannot offer you the finest. But I am glad to see that you are well rested. Yes? Um, yeah, thanks to you, sir. First time in a while that I slept the whole night all the way into the morning. I gotta say that this place is, it's pretty great. <laughs> and so quiet. You may stay for as long as you wish. What? Yeah, well, we appreciate that, but... We have rooms to spare. If you are not in a great hurry, do take your time and stay with us for a while. Okay, you're really generous for taking us in like this. Do you mind if I have some more? <laughs> I know not of other places, but one merit of our village is that it is abundant in peace and quiet. Although we may not be wealthy, we do not want for anything. Oh, thanks. <clears throat> we are only able to live this way with thanks to the many blessings sent down from the sweet heavens above. <clears throat> I was trying to think of clever ways of coaxing him to let us stay here. I never imagined he would have just come out and invited us to. The demon god. It won't escape. Next time, that huge butterfly might come and attack us right from the beginning. <sighs> That's fine. Uh... Well then, I think I'm gonna go ask some folks around the village. I'm really curious about that nun in that burnout temple. What about you? What are you gonna do? I will watch Sabame. All right, don't do anything crazy. Maybe that old guy is just being manipulated. He may look super creepy and stuff, but they say don't judge a book by its cover. The Tale of the Hellish Scene <laughs> Take that. Boom. Hey! I know you're usually busy, so thanks for taking time out to help. Hey, don't worry about it. What are neighbors for, anyway? Whoa there! Please, be careful. <laughs> I'm trying here. <laughs> well done, everyone. This means we can get through another winter. Hmm? It's a blessing from the gods! <laughs> Just a bit more work and we'll be done. Then let's get to it! Everyone must be tired. Why don't you take a break and have some tea to rest up? Much appreciated. <laughs> Well, it seems like a normal village. <laughs> Whoa! Hmm? That's a pretty nice watchtower. Grandma, there's a kid over there. Hey! We have dumplings! Hmm? <clears throat> Who, me? The dumplings are really tasty! Hmm? <laughs> I see, dear. So you're staying as Lord Sabame's guest, then? Yeah. The fact that he's letting a stranger like me stay, it makes me really thankful. I don't even know what to say. So, you like dumplings? Here, this is for you. Thanks. This looks so good. Lord Sabame has taken it upon himself to always work with the village's best interests at heart. You see, dear, without Lord Sabame, we would not be able to live such a rich and peaceful life. That old guy's pretty respected around here, huh? Pardon? Do not address him that way. Oh, uh, excuse me. Sorry. By the way, I'm wondering, I saw a burnt out temple on my way into the village. You know anything about it? Come, time to go. Aww. Sorry, I am afraid that we have a few more chores to do while the sun is still high. Oh, hmm? but Grandma! Now, now, off we go. But I don't... I don't wanna... Hmm.
I am most fond of this specific spot. I can look out onto the village. It is a lovely vista. Hmm. Something's fishy. That there is such a fine storehouse way out in the woods on the outskirts of the village is kind of... Fishy. Something's not right. There has got to be a reason. <laughs> Maybe there's some kind of hidden treasure inside. And it has been left totally unguarded. Seriously? A rice storehouse? Well, uh, I can certainly say it's a hard-working village. If you can eat until full, then you become more emotionally calm. When one is living at the edge of starvation, to be able to carry through with one's purpose is something only a handful can do. <sighs> Boy, they've really saved up a lot. Way too much for me to ever be able to handle. What's this? It looks like it might be a trap door. <laughs> oh, I won't be able to see anything down there without a torch. Nope, you won't. Huh? Ah! 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 What the heck was that for? Sorry about this. Huh? It's so we can protect the village. My ancestors have protected this land for many generations. Born and raised here, and then I became the Lord, and now here I am. Destiny. I know nothing of any other places. Although as a traveler, this may be far beyond what you can understand, but this village is my everything. No matter what may come, I shall stand fast to protect it. But you... You have come to defeat the yokai who reside in this land, yes? That is right. I cannot let you. For they too are considered my people and I must provide for them. Hey! What are you doing? Come on! Let me out of here! Uh, what's their problem anyway? These people are crazy. I gotta hurry up and let Big Bro know. But first, I need to find some sort of light to use. Uh, is that... In these savage times, our village was once in the clutches of darkness. Those who had safely escaped the battlefields became brigands and came to raid and attack our peaceful village. No one could attend to the fields, which were ravaged by wild beasts and insects. My people were left starving, forced to steal from one another. It was amidst this that I had an encounter. With them. They said that if I simply allowed them to live upon this land, they would protect it without fail. Even if it was a deception, I did not care. If it meant my people could escape from the hell they were in, I was fine with selling out the likes of my soul. First they ate the brigands, and then they killed the beasts. They kept their promise to me, and our village was revived. And thus, I welcomed her into my home as my wife. Let me ask you one thing. Why do you kill Yokai? Graf, where are you? I need your help! Dang it!
I do not care what you try to protect. I will kill the demon gods. Kill them, and get everything back. All of it. You just... you just mm. saved me. Dodoro nice to me. So I'm nice to Dodoro. <laughs> Vagabond like yourself could never understand. <laughs> the children are finally awakened, and you shall become the food that fills their bellies. Behind you. Oh, the village. It's on fire. Oh, yeah. I was shoved in the storehouse basement. And then those bugs attacked me. And I was almost eaten. But that big baby like yokai saved me. And then that yokai turned out to be all the murdered kids. Are you even listening to me? Yes. The oil. I found that too. The oil that burned down the temple. I could tell because it had the same smell. So I made sure they couldn't use it again, but... Ah! Lord Sabame, all the village's rice stock has been burned. It's all gone! We won't last through the winter! Lord Sabame, what should we do? What should we do? How are we going to survive the winter? There's no way! Come to think of it, isn't there a rice heap at Ishii's place that hasn't been stored yet? Yeah, and Ishii's home hasn't been burned down. Burns off! That's my rice! Damn what? you! Uh, You're going to take it all for yourself? Sabame! Do something! Uh, Apparently, it was yes, Lord Sabame's guest who started the fire. At the lake? <laughs> the little yokai kids. That's what they told me. Whoa! Oh. 
Did it turn out like this? Did we... Did we do the wrong thing? The only reason any of this happened is because we came here. So be it. Even if you two defeat all the demon gods you want, it will not end up changing the world very much. Don't you care about anything except killing demons? I don't like how this feels. It just doesn't seem right to me. At this rate, you're going to turn into one of them. Are you not able to perceive distance with just one eye yet? No. Come at me. I do not care. Not my concern. Hmm? Dororo? Come on. Couldn't Hiyakimaru just try to listen to me a little for once? Big dummy. What do you know? It's been a while. Touchy. What, I don't get a hug? I've been looking for you all over the place out here, kiddo. <laughs> Still as short and prickly as ever, I see. Shut up! Ta-da! Now you can show me yours. You know, the other half of the map. <laughs> Looking for you all over the place out here, kiddo. Ta da! Now you can show me yours. You know, the other half of the map. <laughs> uh, uh, wait, that's. Listen closely. You must remember this map well. This is the dream for which your father risked his life. You're going to inherit it and keep it with you forever. I know that you should have the same thing as this on your back as well. Hey! 
<laughs> Don't touch me. If you want to see my back, then fine, okay? <laughs> see? I told you there's nothing there. Uh, there's not. Ah. If it's not on his back, then it's probably up in his head somewhere. He's the only clue we have right now. We're taking him. <laughs> <laughs> Jerk! You're gonna pay something fierce for doing this to me, you know? Big Bro is gonna give you the biggest beating of your life! Asshole! Still the little shit who always has a comeback, huh? Where are you? The Tale of Shiranui Almost where? Get to sleep. Gonna make you do some work tomorrow, you know. It'll be your job to fill me in on the other half of this thing. So then, the place you're headed for is over the... Yeah, wherever your father, boss man Hibukuro, hid the money. Ugh. Shouldn't come as any surprise to you. After all, I had a pretty good idea from the time I teamed up with him. stole from the samurai would go missing every now and then. It was always the good stuff, worth big money. <sighs> when I saw that, I thought that maybe the boss was the one making off with the treasure. So I followed him, thinking I would somehow catch him in the act. <laughs> but that's your pops for you. Couldn't catch him doing anything. So after a while, I just gave up. I figured I must have missed something, or been wrong all along. So why do this now? Because I got desperate, really needed some money. That's when it came back to me. Figured there's no harm in trying, so I might as well give it a shot. Now, your pops was long dead by then, which meant you two were the only ones you might know. And then as I was heading towards the mountain temple where we last met, didn't yeah I went and dug up your mama's grave <gasps> and when I flopped her over and saw her back this was written on it Itachi how could you I don't believe you you bastard <clears throat> damn it well better for the living than the dead yeah and sentiment isn't going for a lot these days <sighs> See that cape ahead? That's Hakatsu Cape. It's where your father hid the money. Uh. From here on out, I have to rely on you. Uh. I'll give you a generous cut if you help out. I'm sure you could use some funds right now, yes? Why don't you think about it over some dinner? Yeah, well, I'm not hungry. <laughs> Well, at least your belly is, anyway. <laughs> You're wrong! That wasn't me, all right? It was the horse! Don't laugh at me! Hey, boss, this is where the trail ends. Yeah. We can't get there by land. We'll need a boat to cross over the Cape. Hey, 
Maybe they got attacked by brigands? Mm -hmm. Hey, boss! I found some boats! Ah, hell. They wrecked all of them. What a stupid thing to do. So now what? Need some boats. Uh -huh. I've got boats. Where is it you need to go? The Cape. Sure thing. But I expect a little something in return. It's very quiet. What happened to the rest of the villagers? They were attacked by pirates and wound up dead. Something feels off about this guy. We better not. I'll pay you after you get us there. Fair enough. Come on. Hey! He's the only boats left out here. If he tries anything funny, then I'll just slit his throat. Climb aboard, gentlemen. So where are the oarsmen? We're not going to need any oars. What is going on here? What's that? Sharks! Sharks are pulling the boats! Jito Maru and Sapato Maru. You named your sharks? They're my family, so of course. Did you just say family? That's right. Well, just look at how magnificent they are. You really are a strange guy. Curious about this? Uh, I am. Well, you see, this arm, I fed it to these two when I saw them starving. <sighs> I felt sorry for them, and they were so hungry. He fed them his arm. This guy isn't all there, is he? I don't particularly regret it. There's nothing in the world that means more to me than these two. But now, they've gotten a taste for human flesh. And they refuse to eat anything else. I fed them the dead first, of course. But then, I needed to keep feeding them, so I captured the women and the children. They grew bigger and bigger the more they ate. With their appetite, it could take a whole village. Whole village? Wait, and they... Yeah, there were no pirates. Just me feeding them to my friends here. How could you do that? Huh? We're getting further away. Well, look who woke up. You're as dumb as all the rest. <sighs> Turn the boat around right now. Shiromaru! Saburomaru! Sorry for the wait! Ding ding supper time! I'm a bitch! That. Is it tasty? <laughs> nah, I'll have some later. You bastard! Now, now, it's not good for your stomach to overeat. Save the rest for later, okay? Zabu, you keep watch. We'll eat the rest after sundown. I guess this is finally the end of the line for Olatachi, wouldn't you say? Got away from the samurai only to get eaten by goddamn sharks. Samurai? Oh yeah, hey, I thought you had gotten in good with your lord or something. I thought so too. 
I went off to fight in the war under the Lord's orders. I worked my ass off trying to win some ground. In the end... Damn it. Is there any help yet? Uh, boss. Are there reinforcements coming? They're not. No one is going to help us. What? It's true. They all went... They went to attack the enemy's main encampment. We were nothing but a decoy sitting here as sacrificial pawns. What? <laughs> the boss man was right all along. To them, we aren't even considered to be human beings. Mm. No good comes from messing with the samurai. So I gave up and decided to go back to the life of being a brigand. That's why you want my dad's money? Yeah. He hid it in such an elaborate way. Must have been a considerable sum of money. If I had that money, I could do anything I want. But that turned out to be just a fleeting dream. If I knew it was gonna end like this, I would have never dug up your mama's grave. I'm sorry, kid. I truly am. Huh? Hey! Ow! The hell was that? That hurts, doesn't it? Feeling pain means that you're still alive. Stop acting like you're already dead. Huh? You know, I've survived here all on my own, even without a mother and father. I've been through suffering, and I almost died more than a few times, too. But guess what? I never gave up, and I never even complained. I shrugged it off and pushed on all by myself. Chins up. Eyes to the front. If you're a brigand, act like it! Fight for your damn life until your very last breath! <laughs> there you go, talking like your life depends on it. Just like your old man would have done, my boy. <laughs> okay, men! You've been called out by this little kid. If you don't stand up now, you'll lose your honor as a man. If you still want to squirt out some more tears, you can forget about the damn sharks. Because I'll kill you first! I... I get it, but boss, what can we possibly do about this? Well, uh... Hmm? So what do you have in mind, young Dororo? I will dive in and act as bait. When I give you the signal, pull on this rope and yank me back up. What? It's simple. The shark will jump out of the water trying to catch me. And that's when you and the crew bury your swords into it. Uh -huh. That'll put an end to it for sure. I'm counting on you. No, no, no! Kid's just like his father. Does that mean it's dead? It's done. We did it, men. <laughs> that guy should be coming back over here pretty soon. We need to reach the cape before the sun sets. Listen up, men. Tear off all the seats and use them as oars so we can get out of here. Paddle for your lives to the shore! Yeah! And one more thing. You <laughs> Snow Sabu, no. That's it for you. <laughs> <laughs> he actually showed up. 
You're a piece of work, fish boy. <laughs> <laughs> you bastards. <laughs> You had the upper hand on the ocean, but here on land, it's our game now. Hey, that's enough, okay? Any more and he's gonna die. I lost half of my men because of this twisted freak show. Even if I did kill him, that wouldn't be nearly enough. Itachi! Uh, fine. So be it, then. Toss him somewhere it hurts. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, then. It's time I hear it from you. Hmm? Come on! Tell me where to find your father's treasure. Did you think I'd forgotten about that? What I don't know, I don't know. Listen, kid. There's a whole lot of money out there waiting for us. Aren't you at least interested? That image you carry on your back can move people and change the world. That map will be the source of vast power. I don't want the money right now. Oh, yeah? Then I'll just have to ask a little differently. <sighs> This is not going to be the end of me, kiddo. I have a chance to make a name for myself here. You saw that there wasn't any stupid map on my back! No, not your back. But it may be written down somewhere else. No, don't! Stop it! Well, that's... Uh-huh. I see now why the boss man raised you as a boy. Damn it. Well, hey, look there. You're back. Huh. We should warm her up by the fire. Stop it! Touch you! Don't look! Don't look! No! So that's how you were able to keep it hidden. Sneak. Let's get to business, men! Yes, yes sir. sir! Get your ass back here, Itachi! The money belongs to my papa. The money isn't yours. What's that? Jiro. Jiro. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Did they hurt you? Did those bad men do bad things to you? <laughs> those sons of bitches! Every last one of those bastards needs to die! Shiomaru! Tear them all the shreds! I don't know what your intentions are, but why don't you offer your services to the living instead? You'd save a lot more people that way. Unfortunately, it's not that easy to save people. Huh. But still, isn't what you're doing just a waste? Come now, this isn't some Sisyphean task. What are you trying to... It's a yokai. Sorry. 
I don't know. become such a terrifying sight. The Tale of Questions and Answers. This is actual human flesh. Mm. You can even smile now, can't you? Mm. And you can hear what I'm saying to you. I hear you. Oh. And you speak. How is this possible? Although, I see your eyes are still blind. But, I feel, always, I have always felt. Yes, boy. I know that. I mean, of course, I am your... Uh, <laughs> huh? I am your... I am not sure what I am. I came across you on the river, gave you limbs and a name. But was that the right choice for you? Doing so seems to have made you something else. This here. Uh, I see that it's broken. I was using it during a fight, and I want another one like it. Uh, I want. You must be hungry. This. This one. I want it. First, you should eat something. <laughs> there, dinner is done. Hold on just a second. It is okay. I can feel heat now. Oh. Cold, too. I feel it all. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Guess I forgot. Old habits die hard. Here you go. Oh. The string has started to fall apart. Let me go exchange it for a new one, okay? It is the one thing you have that can connect you to your birth family. Daigo Kagemitsu. Daigo. You met him? The man of this family crest? Then Daigo must be your... He fed me to the demon gods. <clears throat> and they are still hungry. <clears throat> what do you mean by that? Yakimaru, please, tell me what you know. What exactly did the man of this crest tell you? My lady, you're awake. I will get the doctor at once. Be right back. How very naive I have been through all this. <laughs> Your master, the lady of the house, has awoken. Oh, what great news. Master! 
here. I will see her upon my return. I have urgent matters. He could have at least seen his mother's face before we left. A yokai has appeared in our territory. He had no other choice. Young master has changed. Kyogo! He is right, though. Compared to before. fate of a whole domain and its people is weighing on your shoulders alone? How heavy a burden. I took you in so that you could have a life, but all I managed to do was make you suffer even more. I need that. I want to have that leg. I cannot. I cannot give you a new leg. Why not? Because you will just go to fight the demon gods again. And if you do so and regain your body, you will destroy the entire domain. Now yes, the blame for that should lie solely on your father, the Lord. In terms of appearance, you certainly look more human than you did before. But I wonder if you've not become less human on the inside. From what I saw, I assume yokai are not the only things you have killed recently. I can tell these things, boy. Giving you a new leg would only send you closer to hell once again. I cannot do that. But I want it. I need it. I'm sorry. No, please! I cannot save you, Hyakimaru. I cannot. <sighs> Doctor said there is nothing to worry about. Never do such a foolish thing like that ever again. Yes, I was truly foolish, wasn't I? I offered up my life, but I guess it has no value after all. Hmm. My lord, do you remember the headless statue of the Goddess of Mercy? Yes, the one you were always praying to. It lost its head the day Hyakimaru was born to us. I thought that it was a gift, a reward for my faith. I kept praying to it for the safety of my child. When I heard that he was alive, I thought my prayers as a mother had been answered. How vain I was. In reality, Hyakimaru only survived because the goddess sacrificed a piece of itself to be taken by the gods instead. Why else would he still remain when the rest of him was clearly taken and devoured? When the Goddess of Mercy statue broke apart, I felt it with incredible clarity. That among the twelve demon gods, there was one that failed to consume my child. And since the Goddess statue has been broken, your agreement with them is cracking apart. It won't be long until Hyakimaru is able to regain his full body again. My lord, the peaceful times of this land are coming to an end. You are overthinking things. Rest up and get well. Are you there? Put a watch on the Hall of Hell. Do not overlook anything unusual. Yes, and I have received word about the latest on Hyakimaru's whereabouts. There's a report that they found the child he was traveling with. <laughs> have Tohomaru go. Actually, sir. 
There are no signs of life here. It has been reported that a merchant family and some servants supposedly live here, but no one has seen them for some time. Not since the yokai was first sighted. <clears throat> Master! It's here. Hmm. There's no need to rush. There are openings for air and enough food and water to last us for a while. Earlier, you asked me why. So then, let me ask you also why. Why is it you fight? If you leave this cave, you will go back into a world of blood and carnage. Do you still wish to leave? I do. And do you want to have your body? I do. You have a very special power that other people do not. A normal human body may end up being more of an inconvenience to you. And you still want one? I do. Why? What do you mean? Have you ever thought about why? It's mine. That's why the demon gods, all of them, I will kill! Giant rodents! Be ready! Sir! Gilgal! It's very quick. I got a piece of it. Look alive, you two! Right! Hyakimaru. There's no denying your body belongs to you. And you need no reason to want it back. But the demon gods, they won't be the only things you have to kill. Your father, your mother, and even your younger brother. The people of Daigo, they will all try to stop you too. When that happens, the body you worked so hard to regain will be stained with their blood. It will weigh heavy on you, heavier than any prosthetic limb. Will you still be human then? In the end, all you will have around you are corpses. You will be alone in this world. Alone? Yes, alone. And that is no life. No. Huh? There is someone. What do you mean? Right now. Not here now. Wait. It killed people to feed its children. What? I have eyes on it. What now? saved a poor little baby from dying that day. But all I did was turn it upon a path of darkness. Yakimaru, from your perspective, I may as well be just another demon god. Master! Time to end it! Yoko!
What shall we do now, Master? I will slay it. No, wait. Light a fire. If we keep their mother alive like this, the children will stay. Master, even if it is a yokai, I do not like this method. Yogo. Let's go. Mutsu, Yoko, I... I will never again allow my feelings to blunt my sword. The land of Daigo and its people. I shall protect them! Master. There you go. You said that there was someone else. Someone else that you have in your life. I, uh... No, you don't have to tell me, but I want you to understand. You have someone in your life who you won't kill. A person I never thought you'd find. A person who will keep you in check and make you stay human. Hmm? I am Yakimaru. You want my name? I suppose there was never a chance for you to call me by my name in our time together. My name. No, you don't need to know it. I am but nobody, I'm afraid. Oh. I know. What people like you are called. Huh? You are called Mama. <laughs> no. No, that's not right either. I'm not. <laughs> see exactly what I was, even if I was alive or dead. Still today, I have the right to die. Out of all people, the Lord chooses our young master to go kill Hyakimaru? Kyogo, are you on about that again? I know. I have made up my mind. Like young master, I shall no longer be guided by my feelings. A conspirator of Hyakimaru has been sighted around Sodegahama. We go there immediately and hunt him down. Onward! Dororo. Warm her up by the fire. Stop it! Touch you! Don't look! Don't look! No! So that's how you were able to keep hidden. Pretty sneaky. Let's get to business, men! Yes, yes sir. sir! Get your ass back here, Itachi! That money belongs to my papa. That money isn't yours. <laughs> What's that? Jigo. Jigo. Mono. I'm so sorry. Did they hurt you? Did those bad men do bad things to you? Bastards needs to die! Shiomaru! Tear them all the shreds! The Tale of Impermanence Cape.
Hey, uh, boss, are you sure we can really trust that map? That's it. As long as I have the two of you, I don't need anything else. You are afraid of nothing. You are both grace and power. Strong and beautiful. Compared to you, humans are nothing but... but bumbling fools. Mama, please. No match for you. Give them what they deserve. Give them pain and death. Is your problem? I came for you. Uh, uh, well, you should have come sooner then. I was all alone. And it was really tough on me, you know? Uh, 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 it grew. Uh, uh, That thing had your leg, huh? <laughs> Stupid. You went through all of this. Even killed such perfect things. Just to get the flaws of a human body. What's the point in that, huh? What good does it do you? Let's go. We don't have time to waste. Itachi is up there. It has to be somewhere around here for sure. So then... Check this out! Looks like we can get in through here! Oh, I cannot wait to be rich. 
Splurging and having the time of our lives. Hey, wait a second. Oh, what's that? There's something down there. Ooh, I bet it's the treasure. Hell yeah. Come on, let's go get first dibs. Uh, 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 so that's the deal, huh? I guess maybe you weren't quite as pathetic as I thought you were, boss man. Uh, it, Itachi? If you don't have the guts, then go on home. We either get the treasure or get caught in a trap and die. Either one or the other. <laughs> huh? What's that? Hey, look. Is that... Huh? We have found a boat we suspect Yakimaru likely used to get here. It appears there is a large number of others who have snuck in as well. Most likely bandits. No matter. The forces who threaten the peace of the people! Let not a single one escape with their life! Troops, march! That's a fleet of the Daigo clan samurai. Why the hell are they nosing around here? Those filthy bastards. They're not here to try and take away my treasure, are they? What was that? When did the treasure become only yours? Hey! Uh, our orders are not to let a single one of them live! Release! Uh, what the hell is going on? The treasure was right in front of me. Uh. The samurai are all over the beach. We need to find a place to hide and wait for now. There they are! Not over there. Must be this way. Itachi! You again, huh? You know your stubbornness is equal to the best of us, kid. Don't you worry. Your father's treasure is still hidden somewhere inside that mountain up there. Now, there are damn traps laid out all over the place. So if you don't pay attention, you're dead. Gotta be alert. I could probably disarm them if I had enough men with me. This isn't the time for that! Forget about the loot, we have to make a run for it! But what if the damn samurai find the money before us? I can't allow them to use my money for some stupid war to line their pockets. <laughs> Big Boom. <gasps> Near here, too. Big Boom. What are you talking about? <gasps> yeah, that actually just might work out. Not bad. Huh? They must be around here somewhere. Scour the area. Help me. They have explosives, and they're going to... Ugh. We need to get back to the other troops and warn them. Now get moving! They'll be back whenever they find out it's a decoy. We need to hurry up and get down to the beach. Seeks revenge on the land of Daigo! Yakimaru! It's your brother. Ta. Oh. Maru. Uh, uh. Any who side with this wretched demon shall be disposed of right here and now! 
Not today. This is our chance! Let's go! But we can't just leave him! At this rate, we're all gonna die anyway! Retreat and regroup! Uh. Different from the last time, what changed? Our master is heir of the land of Daigo, the lives of its people, and future of its land. He bears all of it on his shoulders. His resolve has grown. But why would he wish? To kill me. Your continued existence alone is causing the land of Daigo to be ravaged by disaster. You are the enemy of the people of Daigo! <laughs> 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 This is... this place was on your map! It might just be another trap, but the fifth one from the left is some kind of clue. Itachi! Will you give it up already? If we can get this, then we'll be all set. We can finally go to a far better place to live. Itachi! <laughs> Here and now! You will die, and then we will strike down all who side with you! Off your left arm, too. Yakimaru! Itachi, come on! Dororo, please, kiddo. Just one last favor. Let me see the treasure, please. Just once. <laughs> <laughs> Fires of hell for all I care.
Hyogo! Hyogo! Hyogo, no! When you meet with my father up there, try not to fight with him this time, please. That image you carry on your back can move people and change the world. That map will be the source of vast power. To be honest with you, I don't know how I should go about using this stuff. So, not just yet. Papa, Mama, please wait just a bit more, okay? Uh. What? Wait just a minute. This uh, doesn't count, okay? We'll call it like a loan, right? Uh. Wait up! I'm coming. Peddler guy back there said we should be able to find it after crossing one mountain, but we've already crossed three of them. He sure has picked up a weird habit. Dororo, a horse. <sighs> if we knew it was gonna be like this, we should have gotten our own horse somewhere. Even if the bladesmith isn't here in this village, I'm not taking another step. Dororo. I want this. If we don't find him here, then we walk more. I know, I know. Don't worry. I didn't really mean what I said, okay? Okay. If I remember correctly, he said the bladesmith's name is Munetsuna. All right, let's do this. The Tale of the Amanojaku. Munetsuna? He lives on the outskirts of the village. Really? That's right. But don't tell me. You're not going there to ask him to forge a katana, are you? Why? I thought he was supposed to be some sort of master craftsman. Please. That guy doesn't have any idea what the hell he's doing. Wait, what? That's not what we were told at all. He forged that hatchet over there for me, and as you can see, it's nothing special. Oh, and uh, not to mention his daughter, Okoa, is rather homely and has a terrible personality. I've just always disliked her. <coughs> huh? Hmm... Uh... Coming! Yes, yes. Just here to complain about my father again? Um, hey, who are you? Is this... Uh, would this happen to be Monetsuna's place? Yeah, this is his place. He's my father. Then you must be Okoa. Yes, that's right. 
Actually, we're traveling, and we heard that your father is a famous bladesmith, so we stopped by. <sighs> so you're a customer! Yes, my daddy is the best sword maker in the realm. Right. But you see, uh, all the people back at the village? Uh, the folks here just can't be honest about anything. And yet they still always come to my daddy's place, don't they? So, is he as skilled as we've heard? Oh, of course he is. That's great! Do you think, uh, he'd be able to reforge these? Well, those katana are considerably well used. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, uh, big bro! Kokoa. Come on! I told you not to do that! Why? Forget the why, you just can't do that stuff. Why? There's no why, ands, or buts about it! What is a but? <laughs> Ugh. We'll get yelled at if we disturb him when he's busy forging. Guys, wait here for just a second. At times like these, first impressions are most important, you know? Keep those katana ready. Uh, oh. Oh, oh, wow. Check out that mask. Daddy, you have a customer. His katana needs some help. And I... I think he's interested in marrying me, too. Huh? Where? What? Daddy, don't get angry. At times like these, first impressions are very important. Those katana. Huh? Tell me, what have you killed with them? Why are we doing this, Daddy? We've never had to purify a katana before. You do not need to know, daughter. Shimonten is the object of worship around here. Daddy and all the folks in the village pray to it. Yeah? And that Hyotoko mask is another one of the gods of the forge. Huh? This thing? Why does it have a face like this? Well, that's because it's blowing on the fire for the kiln! Blowing on the fire? It is a blessed item to ward off evil spirits. It's been passed down in our family for generations. Fire blower. Hyotoko. I guess you would make a face like this. <laughs> What's the matter? Okay. Put your katana on the stand. Uh, sure. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, uh, what's gotten into you? What am I? Jeez. This is not the time to start acting weird, okay? I'm pooped! That Munetsuna guy said he'd bring the katana here when they're ready. So then the katana... Katana will come here. Yeah, so let's take it easy until then. The reforging fee wasn't nearly as much as I thought it would be, so we can use this time to rest up while we wait. Don't need. Huh? Oh. Oh, wow. I must be more exhausted than I thought. I could swear you just said you didn't need your katana. Don't need them. Huh? What the heck are you even saying? You can't get your body back from the demon gods without your katana. Sir Hyaku? Uh, Dororo? It's me, Okawa. Come in. Sir Hyaku? Um, I figured you might be hungry. So I cooked this up. Thanks! I was getting hungry! Wow, looks yummy! Ow. Bad boy! You listen here. The master of the household always gets to eat first. Huh? And who exactly is the master? <laughs> now look. The two of us are in the middle of an important journey right now. Once the katana are finished, we are going to be leaving. I am fully prepared to go with you at that time. You what? This isn't some sort of vacation. I'm the only one who can handle traveling with this guy. Well, don't worry about it. After all, I'm the daughter of Munetsuna, the greatest bladesmith in all the land. Oh my gosh. Give it to her straight, okay? Tell her that she cannot be with you. I am going to be with Okoa. What? Sir Hyaku! 
Even if you are just joking, you really shouldn't say things like that. I'm not. Huh? But our journey! I am quitting. What about the rest of your body? I'm good. Don't want it. No. Your body? If you don't cut out this nonsense, I'm going to get angry. Serious. Okay then, what about me? Don't have to be together. Done. Oh, please, Sir Hiyaku, I swear I really don't mind at all. Dororo is free to stay with us if you'd like him to. Say that again, Hiyakimaru. I do not need Dororo with me. Fine, have it your way! You and me, we're done forever! You big dumb sack of rocks for brains! Listen, I'm absolutely overjoyed that you and Oko are hitting together as a couple, okay? What did I just say? Oh, Dororo. You two totally look great together! That is so sweet. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, well, you're welcome. You two are beautiful soulmates. Oh, Dororo. Oh, come on, stop it, jeez! Well, hey, wait, uh, that's the uh, uh, sushi! We're wrong. I'm proud of you! Jeez! Dororo was crying for us. And Dororo, he looked very happy. That moron. I don't give a rat's fuzzy butt what happens to you anymore. So there. What's going on? My condolences. What a horribly terrible thing this is. Yes, it truly is. Your future seems so incredibly bleak. Thank you. Thank you both kindly. I sort of let it slip to the villagers that we will be getting married. And this is what's come of that little slip up. Okoa? Huh? They say wedding clothes make the bride. So I'm going to sew one that will make you dreadfully shabby and plain. I cannot wait to see how you look. Oh, perfect. Uh, they're always the same. Good for you, Okoa. I had been thinking that you should probably get married off soon. Hope you have a nice wedding. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. That was suddenly very honest of him. What is a wedding, Okoa? Huh? It means that you and I are going to be husband and wife. Husband and wife? I thought the earlier the better, so I set the ceremony for tomorrow. <gasps> There's no way. That's just... Okay. <gasps> Okay. Oh, no, no. I will become Okoa's husband. You can go off and live a long, happy life! Dororo looked very happy. Dang it, stupid numbskull! I'll head over heels for Okoa! I mean, is she even your type? Fine, then. In that case, I've got a plan of my own. Dororo. My! How shamefully ugly! What is it about you, dear child? You put such nice attire to waste. Uh, Sir Hyaku, please, you need to be facing the other way. How hideous you are. I feel the so katana, it will come here. If he doesn't need the katana, I'll throw them away. I'm going to toss them away for good. Ah! 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 
What are you doing here, kid? Uh, 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 don't scare me like that. I think you scared yourself. So then, this is one of the new blades? It is not done. I've only just purified it. So, what are you going to do with that one? Mm. So that's why you were trying to throw it away. Hyakimaru is suddenly unmotivated in our journey. And I'm saying things I don't really mean. I don't know what to do anymore. That big dummy. He doesn't understand how I might feel in any of this. You see... Ever since I met him, he has saved me over and over again. That's why I decided from now on I'm going to help him get through the tough times and save him. I swore that I would. But now, why would he say he's quitting the journey? I came for you. You just came back to get me a short while ago. Stupid jerk! I guess I fell asleep. Not sure when. Huh? Don't bother me. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, so, uh, aren't you going to Okawa's wedding? For a bladesmith, nothing takes precedence over a katana. Okawa knows that. You really like katana, huh? Do you not? I hate samurai, so I don't like the katana made for killing. The two seem to go hand in hand. I hate when people kill as well. Huh? My ideal is to forge a katana that puts an end to the fighting. A katana so stunning, the enemy gives up merely from getting a glimpse at it. Can you really make something like that? Certainly won't be easy. I might not even live to see it happen. All I know is, given the gifts I possess, I should not use them for the wrong reasons. Uh. I'm wrong. I need to stay by Big Bro's side now more than ever. And is that also something you don't really mean? It's not like that. Wait. Last night and today, I've been saying exactly what I mean this whole time. Why can I talk normally when I'm here? Or rather, instead, when was it that I started saying things in opposites? Oh. A big bro. Since when did he start acting so strange? Oh. That temple! Come on, we have to go to the temple together! Why? Because it's the place that does Buddhist marriage ceremonies. And then everyone will hold a celebration for us afterwards. A katana will come here. The katana will also be ready after we get back from the temple. The katana will come here. <laughs> you! You must be the piece of crap who's been doing all of this! I knew it! Dororo? I found uh, something! What is that little beast? That thing is probably what made us act all weird these past few days! We gotta get it! No! No! It's the other way! Turn around! It's not me! It's over there! Sir Yaku! What are you doing to him? Dororo! you huh? who would have thought it was actually real 
Then everything was all this monster's fault. Legend says an Amanujaku, who had done a flurry of horrible things to the village, was sealed away in this temple. So that means we really were being protected from evil by having these masks. So then, when exactly did this thing manage to escape? No idea. Well, Sir Hyaku and Dororo have become friends again, and now without any worry, the ceremony can... Uh... Hmm? Wait, because of the monster, everyone was speaking in opposites. That means... Dororo and Sir Hyaku were as well? <sighs> so you see, everyone? It's not Sir Hyaku's fault at all. I'm sorry, everyone. Okoa, you don't need to marry a guy like that all this time here, and I couldn't tell you how I truly felt about you. But I promise to make you way happier than that guy ever could. Okoa, please, will you marry me? Well, here, have some more. Be so beautiful. I'll make a lovely bride. She didn't waste any time. Okoa looks very happy. Wow! These are gorgeous. I know, right? I told you Daddy is the best bladesmith in all the land. The katana came back. So then, I take it you like them? <laughs> he actually looks happy for real now. Hmm? You're right. I am happy. These two have been through harsh fates that no normal person could even begin to imagine. Most likely, sweet daughter. There was no place for you by his side anyway. Well, yeah, there's no way of their having to deal with some sort of demon all the time. Sir Hyaku, don't go around rubbing your head on people anymore, got it? Why not? There's, there's no, no whys or buts about it! What exactly is a butts? Um, we'll talk about it later. Right now, it's time for us to get going. You ready? You come with me. Well, of course. I'm the only one who can handle traveling with you, after all. <laughs> Both of us look happy now. guy back there said we should be able to find it after crossing one mountain but we've already crossed three of them he sure has picked up a weird habit Dororo, a horse uh, if we knew it was gonna be like this we should have gotten our own horse somewhere even if the bladesmith isn't here in this village I'm not taking another step Dororo, I want this. If we don't find him here, then we walk more. I know, I know. Don't worry. I didn't really mean what I said, okay? Okay. If I remember correctly, he said the bladesmith's name is Munetsuna. All right, let's do this. The Tale of the Amanojaku. Munetsuna? He lives on the outskirts of the village. Really? That's right. But don't tell me. You're not going there to ask him to forge a katana, are you? Why? I thought he was supposed to be some sort of master craftsman. Please. That guy doesn't have any idea what the hell he's doing. Wait, what? That's not what we were told at all. He forged that hatchet over there for me, and as you can see, it's nothing special. Oh, and uh, not to mention his daughter, Okoa, is rather homely and has a terrible personality. I've just always disliked her. Uh. Huh? Uh... Yes, yes. Just here to complain about my father again? Um, hey, who are you? Is this... Uh, would this happen to be Minetsuna's place? 
Yeah, this is his place. He's my father. Then you must be Okoa. Yes, that's right. Actually, we're traveling, and we heard that your father is a famous bladesmith, so we stopped by. <sighs> so you're a customer! Yes, my daddy is the best sword maker in the realm. Right. But you see, uh, all the people back at the village? Uh, the folks here just can't be honest about anything. And yet they still always come to my daddy's place, don't they? So, is he as skilled as we've heard? Oh, of course he is. That's great! You think, uh, he'd be able to reforge these? Well, those katana are considerably well used. Uh, uh, hey, uh, big bro! Oh, Come on! I told you not to do that! Why? Forget the why, you just can't do that stuff. Why? There's no why, ands, or buts about it! What is a but? <laughs> Ugh! We'll get yelled at if we disturb him when he's busy forging. Guys, wait here for just a second. At times like these, first impressions are most important, you know? Keep those katana ready. Uh, oh. oh, wow! Check out that mask! Daddy, you have a customer. His katana needs some help. And I... I think he's interested in marrying me, too. Huh? Where? What? Daddy, don't get angry. At times like these, first impressions are very important. Those katana. Huh? Tell me, what have you killed with them? Why are we doing this, Daddy? We've never had to purify a katana before. You do not need to know, daughter. Shimonton is the object of worship around here. Daddy and all the folks in the village pray to it. Yeah? And that Hyotoko mask is another one of the gods of the forge. Uh, this thing? Why does it have a face like this? Well, that's because it's blowing on the fire for the kiln! Blowing on the fire? It is a blessed item to ward off evil spirits. It's been passed down in our family for generations. Fire blower. Hyotoko. I guess you would make a face like this. What's the matter? Okay. Put your katana on the stand. Uh, sure. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, uh, what's gotten into you? What am I? Jeez. This is not the time to start acting weird, okay? I'm pooped! That Munetsuna guy said he'd bring the katana here when they're ready. So then the katana... Katana will come here. Yeah, so let's take it easy until then. The reforging fee wasn't nearly as much as I thought it would be, so we can use this time to rest up while we wait. Don't need. Huh? Oh. Oh, wow. I must be more exhausted than I thought. I could swear you just said you didn't need your katana. Don't need them. Huh? What the heck are you even saying? You can't get your body back from the demon gods without your katana. Sir Hyaku? Uh, Dororo? It's me, Okawa. Come in. Sir Hyaku? Um, I figured you might be hungry. So I cooked this up. Thanks! I was getting hungry! Wow, looks yummy! Ow. Bad boy! You listen here. The master of the household always gets to eat first. Huh? And who exactly is the master? <laughs> now look. The two of us are in the middle of an important journey right now. Once the katana are finished, we are going to be leaving. I am fully prepared to go with you at that time. You what? This isn't some sort of vacation. I'm the only one who can handle traveling with this guy. Well, don't worry about it. After all, I'm the daughter of Munetsuna, the greatest bladesmith in all the land. Oh my gosh. Give it to her straight, okay? 
Tell her that she cannot be with you. I am going to be with Okoa. What? Sir Hyaku! Even if you are just joking, you really shouldn't say things like that. I'm not. Huh? But our journey! I am quitting. What about the rest of your body? I'm good. Don't want it. No. Your body? If you don't cut out this nonsense, I'm going to get angry! Serious. Okay then, what about me? Don't have to be together. Done. Ah! Oh, please, Sir Hiyaku, I swear I really don't mind at all. Dororo is free to stay with us if you'd like him to. Say that again, Hiyakimaru. Uh... I do not need Dororo with me. Fine, have it your way! You and me, we're done forever! You big dumb sack of rocks for brains! Yeah! Listen, I'm absolutely overjoyed that you and Oko are getting together as a couple, okay? Wait, what? What did I just say? Oh, Dororo. You two totally look great together! That is so sweet. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, well, you're welcome. You two are beautiful soulmates. Oh, Dororo. Oh, come on, stop it, jeez! Well, hey, wait, uh, that's a Hiyaku sushi! Big Mom, I'm proud of you! Jeez! Dororo was crying for us. And Dororo... He looked very happy. That moron. I don't give a rat's fuzzy butt what happens to you anymore, so there. What's going on? My condolences. What a horribly terrible thing this is. Yes, it truly is. Your future seems so incredibly bleak. Thank you. Thank you both kindly. I sort of let it slip to the villagers that we will be getting married. And this is what's come on that little slip up. Okoa? Huh? They say wedding clothes make the bride. So I'm going to sew one that will make you dreadfully shabby and plain. I cannot wait to see how you look. Oh, perfect. Ah, they're always the same. Good for you, Okoa. I had been thinking that you should probably get married off soon. Hope you have a nice wedding. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. That was suddenly very honest of him. What is a wedding, Okoa? Huh? It means that you and I are going to be husband and wife. Husband and wife? I thought the earlier the better, so I set the ceremony for tomorrow. <gasps> There's no way. That's just... Okay. <gasps> Okay. Oh, no, no. I will become Okoa's husband. You can go off and live a long, happy life! Dororo looked very happy. Dang it, the stupid numbskull! I'll head over heels for Okoa! I mean, is she even your type? Fine, then. In that case, I've got a plan of my own. Dororo. My! How shamefully ugly! What is it about you, dear child? You put such nice attire to waste. Uh, Sir Hyaku, please, you need to be facing the other way! How hideous you are! I feel the so katana, it will come here. If he doesn't need the katana, I'll throw them away. Uh. 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 
I'm going to toss them away for good. What are you doing here, kid? Don't scare me like that! I think you scared yourself. So then, this is one of the new blades? It is not done. I've only just purified it. So, what are you going to do with that one? Mm. So that's why you were trying to throw it away. Hyakimaru is suddenly unmotivated in our journey, and I'm saying things I don't really mean. I don't know what to do anymore. That big dummy. He doesn't understand how I might feel in any of this. You see, ever since I met him, he has saved me over and over again. That's why... I decided from now on I'm going to help him get through the tough times and save him. I swore that I would. But now, why would he say he's quitting the journey? I came for you. You just came back to get me a short while ago. Stupid jerk. I guess I fell asleep. Not sure when. Don't bother me. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, so, uh, aren't you going to Okawa's wedding? For a bladesmith, nothing takes precedence over a katana. Okawa knows that. You really like katana, huh? Do you not? I hate samurai, so I don't like the katana made for killing. The two seem to go hand in hand. I hate when people kill as well. Huh? My ideal is to forge a katana that puts an end to the fighting. A katana so stunning, the enemy gives up merely from getting a glimpse at it. Can you really make something like that? Certainly won't be easy. I might not even live to see it happen. All I know is, given the gifts I possess, I should not use them for the wrong reasons. Uh. I'm wrong. I need to stay by Big Bro's side now more than ever. And is that also something you don't really mean? It's not like that. Wait. Last night and today, I've been saying exactly what I mean this whole time. Why can I talk normally when I'm here? Or rather, instead, when was it that I started saying things in opposites? Oh. Hey, Big Bro. Since when did he start acting so strange? And then everyone will hold a celebration for us afterwards. The katana will come here. The katana will also be ready after we get back from the, the temple. The katana will come here. Sorry that I doubted you. Huh? Who 
Who would have thought it was actually real? Then everything was all this monster's fault. Legend says an Amanojaku, who had done a flurry of horrible things to the village, was sealed away in this temple. So that means we really were being protected from evil by having these masks. So then, when exactly did this thing manage to escape? No idea. Well, Sir Hyaku and Dororo have become friends again, and now without any worry, the ceremony can... Uh... Hmm? Wait, because of the monster, everyone was speaking in opposites. That means... Dororo and Sir Hyaku were as well? <sighs> so you see, everyone? It's not Sir Hyaku's fault at all. I am sorry, everyone. Okoa, you don't need to marry a guy like that all this time here, and I couldn't tell you how I truly felt about you. But I promise to make you way happier than that guy ever could. Okoa, please, will you marry me? Yeah, have some more. She didn't waste any time. Okoa looks very happy. Wow! These are gorgeous! I know, right? I told you Daddy is the best bladesmith in all the land! The katana came back. So then, I take it you like them? <laughs> he actually looks happy for real now. Hmm? Huh? You're right. I am happy. These two have been through harsh fates that no normal person could even begin to imagine. Most likely, sweet daughter. There was no place for you by his side anyway. Well, yeah, there's no way of their having to deal with some sort of demon all the time. Sir Hyaku, don't go around rubbing your head on people anymore, got it? Why not? There's, there's no, no whys or buts about it! What exactly is a butts? Um, we'll talk about it later. Right now, it's time for us to get going. You ready? You come with me. Well, of course. I'm the only one who can handle traveling with you, after all. <laughs> Both of us look happy now. This is awful. It is just heartbreaking. The damn locusts must have eaten up all of the rice and other crops right before the harvest. Master! I finished checking all the neighboring villages. How are they? There are rats and locusts and drought. No matter the reasons or causes, all of the villages are suffering terribly. A few have been struck by disease. Those near the borders have been hit the worst. And it seems to be spreading inwards. And so perhaps, since we have failed to kill him, it is the work of the demon god showing their anger. We must be certain of it. We ride to the Hall of Hell! Please! Please have mercy! Please, sir, I beg of you, could you spare a tiny morsel of food for this sick and starving child? There you go, Sakichi. There's still more. Chew it well now. As the man with the honor of presiding over this land, I promise you will never be forsaken. <laughs> the Tale of Niue. Incredible! Uh, it's nothing!
nothing but bright red and yellow everywhere. Da da da. Oh yeah, that's right. We came here to do some major monster slaying. Seems like lots of people have been getting killed in these mountains lately. Weird. This isn't the first time for me to be in the mountains in the fall. But it seems so beautiful this time. Hmm? Maybe when I was on my own, all I had time to do was focus on staying alive. I better eat. Uh... What? You're giving this whole thing to me? All for you. <laughs> That's so nice. Big Bro got me my very own food to eat. <laughs> okay, so there are four seasons. They're called spring, summer, fall, and winter. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's fall. And whenever it's fall, the mountains and the trees turn bright red all over. Uh -huh. Oh. But it is a different kind of red than the red of the demon gods that you're used to seeing. I mean, just looking at it makes you feel all good inside for some reason. And that's what one would call beautiful. Actually, it's new for me too. I'm sure someday you'll be able to see it yourself. Not just this either. You'll see lots of beautiful stuff, like the sun and the clouds. Uh -huh. uh, you haven't been saying very much. Are you even really listening to me? Mm -hmm. I want to hear some more. Some more of your stories. Uh, so... You've kind of been changing. Huh? Yeah, it's true, you really have changed. You're nothing like you were when we first met. And you know what? I got a whole bunch of stuff I want to tell you about, too! But first things first, we gotta do some of that monster-slaying stuff. You out here looking for the huh? monster? Who the heck are you? Well, there's no need to be like that. I'm just like you. I came to slay the mountain beast. What? They call me Saburota, the dice pit. I've been hunting the creature of this mountain for about half a year now. It's a tough one. I fought it many times. With only this to show for it. <gasps> Why do you keep fighting it then? Because the damn thing ate my mother, that's why. Right in front of my eyes. Um, your mother, huh? I'll never forget it as long as I live. Ever since that day, I've had an empty hole rotting in the center of my chest. I see. Looking at those arms... Hmm? I can imagine you've seen some hard times, too. It must have been pretty terrifying for you. <laughs> hmm? uh. Uh. Dororo, let's go. <clears throat> it comes to this rocky outcrop on certain days. And today is one of them. Don't worry. My guy here is tough. He'll definitely avenge your sweet mama for sure. That's good. I am counting on it. Hmm? Here. Uh, what the heck? Look at this thing. It's a whole mess of different creatures. Demon.
Seems like you've got some real skills. What? Why are you trying to protect it? Didn't it kill your mother? What's wrong with you? Even if I kill the monster, my mother is never coming back. So I'm looking to make a trade. I'm taking lives away instead. Every time I let this guy ravage someone who passes through these mountains, they all scream, begging for their lives. And when I see them all helpless like that, it's the only time this hole gets filled up. You're insane. <laughs> My lord, there is something strange at the Hall of Hell. One of the statues, the twelfth of the demon gods. It appears to have developed a, a heartbeat. It is very faint, sir, but there is no doubt. When the Goddess of Mercy statue broke apart, I felt it with incredible clarity. That among the twelve demon gods, there was one that failed to consume my child. And since the goddess statue has been broken, your agreement with them is cracking apart. The peaceful times of this land are coming to an end. Dororo. Dororo. So, um, we might have kind of fallen from the cliff up there. And that guy... Dororo. Oh, it's nothing. I can get up now. It's really in there. Dororo. Don't worry. I'll warm myself out eventually. No. Below you. What? Uh. <laughs> it's impossible with those arms of yours. Then... Almost there. Okay, Mama? If we cross this mountain, we'll be at the doctor's place. I'm so sorry, Saburota. <laughs> I'll make a name for myself with my sword one day. Then we won't have to sell stupid animal pelts anymore. Now, please, Mama, do your best to relax. Oh, Saburota. <laughs> <laughs> Help me! Please! Another one. I'll bring you another one. Or, or maybe... Well, you would prefer to eat me. Don't! No, stop it! You're going to break them! Those are the only arms you've got! Don't worry! I, I can figure my own way out of this! Don't, don't, don't. Move over, 
just a bit. You're okay now. I thought I heard a familiar voice making quite a ruckus. I'm glad I was able to make it here in time. And do you want to have your body? I do. Why? It's mine. <laughs> I grow. You actually managed to stay alive. Demon. Well, will you look at that? You've got an empty hole just like me. But the thing is, it doesn't matter. to die pretended to act like a samurai but when the occasion arises what else could i do no i couldn't let's go saburota we shall get revenge <laughs> Everyone's the same as me. Stop! Why? Why are you not running for your life? You should be scared. You should be screaming, crying, and begging for your life! Be like you are, to have no fear. But I can't. Not anymore.
see now. Give it back. I see what you are. Give it back. You're not human. That's why. The yokai foxes. He beat a demon god, but didn't get anything back. This cannot be good. Get it back! Please stop! That's enough! You're fine! This is not going to help anything! Uh, Master, look over there. easily escape from the harsh fate they are given. No matter how difficult a burden one must carry, I suppose this is also destiny. Nothing. Let's go. Sure. Move it! Out of the way! I think those guys who just passed us were scouts from Asakura. They look like they were coming from the direction of Daigo's land. Okay. Wait up! Wait up! Hey, hold on. I have a real bad feeling about this. Doesn't matter. My body's at Daigo. Tale of Gaining Enlightenment. Reporting, sir. Two more villages in your territory have been newly affected by the epidemic. We have no choice. Burn the villages. Make sure it does not spread to nearby areas. Yes, sir. Reporting, sir. Asakura, he has been steadily amassing his armed forces and cavalry. So far, over 2,000. Are they advancing? Far as I can tell. No signs of movement just yet. Very well. What of our troops and provisions? We have been securing recruits from allied lands and villages unaffected by the epidemic, but we still don't have enough. We're moving too slowly. Hurry it up. Yes, sir. The peaceful times of this land are coming to an end. Please, forgive us. All 
able-bodied men will be drafted as soldiers, without exception. Get moving! Is there any way you could just leave two or three behind for the village? The women and children can't handle all the labor. The fate of the huh? land is at stake. Nothing is more important than that. Oh. If you come all this way to such a remote location just to round up some horses, it must be quite dire. Mmm. Wow. That's a fine horse. We'll take it. <laughs> Midoro here is my finest horse and our source of income. Please do everything you possibly can to return her unharmed. You selfish son of a bitch! We're fighting for the entire domain, understand? <laughs> Let's go now. <laughs> Come on, do as you're told! <laughs> Come here, you little... <laughs> that, that looks unfortunate. You! Leave me a hand over here! Yes, sir. Steadily headed this way. And are you positive that it is Yakimaru? Yes, I am quite sure. Also, that child has been reunited with him. Within a few days, the two of them should reach our territory. So then, he is coming. Asakura will surely be on the move by then. What shall we do? Then I shall be the one to dispose of Yakimaru. Even if we gathered soldiers, they would be no match for such a fighter. But as things stand, of course, we cannot afford to dispatch our entire army after him. I will take Mutsu and Hyogo. I need no one else. Father, if we do not rid ourselves of him now, then we will never again be able to govern the land of Daigo in peace! Very well. You may go if you wish. Are you certain, sir? Surely you saw the heat in his eyes. None can stop him. I have a task for you. I've been wondering... What? Whenever we get to Daigo, you know... Uh, what if, like, your... What if your mother and your father happen to show up again? What are you going to do then? If they get in my way, they're dead. But if you do that, then for the rest of your life, no matter what happens, you'll be all alone. They'll never be able to be by your side. I will have you there. What are you doing standing up here alone? Young Master awaits. How many are going to have to die this time? You know the people out there are just like we were once? I despise the need for war. Yes, but we must finally defeat Yakimaru and bring an end to all of this. Yes, I'm well aware of that.
This is it. I cannot let the people of this land suffer any longer. Together we purge the evil. Sir. Sir. I see. Thank you. So Tahomaru has gone after Hiyakimaru. Yes. In his present state, Hyakumaru is like an angry child whose toy's been taken and he wishes it back. I imagine no words can reach him at this point. Nor to Homaru, who is trying to be the incarnation of Asura for the sake of all Daigo. The wife of a lord, or the mother of children. If I had chosen one or the other, then I would not have been cursed by my own helplessness. My lady. Hiyakimaru. Tahomaru. Oh, hey, hold on, you two. Huh? Are you both residents of Daigo? No, why? Then you should really heed my advice and turn around right now. A huge war with the Asakura is about to break out at any moment. And you know, I was told that if I went to Daigo, I could make a pretty nice profit. So I came all the way here. But you know what they say. Where there's life, there's hope. Uh, hey! Big bro! Do not ever get in my way. What the heck was that? You heard him, didn't you? There's going to be a war in Daigo. Now listen, I get how you feel, but now isn't the time. No, I'm getting my body back. But you heard what that old guy said, right? <clears throat> if you die, then nothing will ever come of this. I'm getting it back. <clears throat> Fine then, but I'm not going to be going with you. And why not? They stole everything from me. I'm just worried, and I don't want you to stop being who you are, okay? I'm scared! Why would I stop being me? To touch with my own hands. To see with my eyes. I want to feel, too. Just like you do. No. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. Dang it. Are you okay? I am fine. I just seem to be a bit tense lately. Really? I've never seen you like this. Kyogo, he is the same as usual. He could always sleep. We've been together for a long time. Just how long has it been since, since your father saved us? Well, to survive, everything will be fine. You've sharpened a bone to use as a weapon. Rest easy. I am not your enemy here. Tahomaru. These two are called Mutsu and Hyogo. They will live in residence starting today. From now on, you will do your studies and train in swordsmanship with them. Mutsu, Hyogo, I will strive for an era of peace alongside my father. It will be an era where no more will meet their fate like this, nor suffer the hardships you two did. And to that end, I will make Daigo the strongest domain in the entire realm. 
So you know, Master, we share the same aspirations as you do. In my own humble way, I serve as your right hand, and Hyogo as your left hand. Until your ambitions are met and reached, we shall protect you with all that we have. And now that very day is finally here. Yes, sir. I shall not let this domain fall. Onward! March! Yeah! Forward! Advance! Daigo is nothing to fear! Tahomaru, get out of my way! No, you can't! Please! He's your little brother! No! <sighs> that man, he called me a demon! <sighs> His murderous intent is even greater than what it was. Be careful, sir. Yakimaru! You shall not harm Daigo any further! I, Tahomaru, will slay you where you stand. Demon destroying the land of Daigo. I. I will risk my life to put you to death. Here. Our Lord ordered this of me, so as to protect you from the shadows. Tahomaru is the heir of Daigo. Ensure without fail that he returns to the castle. Please, it is time for you to retreat now. Out of my way! 
If I do not defeat Yakimaru, this land will be destroyed. But these are the Lord's orders. I refuse. <clears throat> Forgive me. Uh, 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 Yaki... Maru... Uh, Master, carry him for me. Hey! Stop it! Let go! Why the child? We must ensure the death of Kakimaru. Hey, this will make it easier to do that. It is cowardly to use the helpless in such a way. I care not for foolish sentiments. <laughs> you took an oath of your very body, your very mind, and your very soul. It is your duty to protect the young master. You shame yourselves being protected by him! <laughs> Let's move. Uh, hm. uh, no! Big bro! The Tale of Nui. Well, isn't this shit luck? Just when I was about to reach Daigo's castle. And you're stuck too, I take it. Well, if you're leaving Daigo, then you better get moving. This is not the place for amateurs. You've got to know how to keep your wits about you. But I know how to play it. I'll use this as a chance to get rich. I too have something to do here. Ha! <laughs> War is about to rage across this entire countryside. What's here for you? Well, that's what I'm trying to find out. What's this? Let's go, idiots! I said let's go! Hey! See? It's already started. a moment ago, 30 Asakura troops retreated without going too far in, most likely to scout things out. Their main army has crossed Tatesugi Pass and should reach here in a day or two. We shall stop them here. They will not take a single step into our territory. sure you should be up now. You should rest a while longer. These are only mere scratches. You two suffered far worse than I did. I guess. <sighs> I'm fine, though. I mean it. It hurts more whenever my sister hits me. Seriously. That's true. Damn straight. By the way, where is she? Hmm? You mean you haven't seen her here? No, sir. But no one here is telling me why. 
Yes, well, the doctor should know where to find her. Master, please wait! Master! You fool! Why did you come with me to fight? You should have stayed behind to rest! Mutsu, if you had just said something, we could have realized sooner something was wrong, and you wouldn't have gotten hurt. I'm going in! You mustn't, Master! Move! No! The doctors say she has a disease! We cannot risk you catching it! Well said, Hyogo. Forgive me, young master. With this new injury and this disease, I am no longer able to see that you fulfill your dreams. I will never see the prosperous and peaceful land you will one day establish. But I know for certain you will achieve it soon enough. I believe in that with all my heart. Hyogo, you can still use your right arm, yes? I can. Very good. For as long as that body of yours can move, protect the young master until the very end. I will. Without fail, I will avenge you. Everything you tried to protect with your life. I will, with all that I have, protect it to the end! <laughs> I'm begging you, stay who you are. Hmm? Uh, Everyone in the castle is busy preparing for war. Now is your only chance. You shame yourselves being protected by him! There's a hidden tunnel a bit further. You can escape the castle grounds from there. Are you sure? I mean, you're... What we are doing is wrong. There is no need to use a child as a shield. Uh... Please tell me, you and my son, how long have the two of you been traveling together? What? It surely must have been a harsh journey. The two of you all alone and you being so young? Could you possibly share with me whatever you know of him? Why? Isn't it too late for that? Did you forget what you said to him? He was abandoned by his own mother. Even after suffering so much already. No eyes, ears, arms, legs, nothing. And since, he has been fighting desperately to get back what was taken from him. Why is he the only one who has to go through all of these terrible things? <gasps> uh, oh no. Oh. <clears throat> I see the rain has started to clear up. Excuse us, my lady. We didn't expect to see you here. The rainfall wasn't as heavy over at the Bonmon. Please have no fear, my lady. His lordship will win and return here safely. Of course. Do everything that you can for the lord. You may go. Yes. It's okay. The soldiers are gone now. You're safe. Oh. Yes, Mama. Oh. We should hurry along. Uh, yeah. Uh, isn't this a dead end? Oh. I abandoned Hiyakimaru. Choosing the land of Daigo and its people instead. That cannot be undone, no matter what I do now. Speaking as a lord's wife, I do not regret my choice. You don't really mean that, do you? Um, Master? I have brought medicine and food for you. Master? Mm. Master? Wow! We're all the way out by the river! Go, and do be careful. Uh, hey. Thank you. Uh... When I heard there was a child traveling with my son, 
I felt indebted to you. I truly cannot thank you enough for being there. I... I don't... do much. Oh! I got it! How about this? How about I tell him that his mama helped me escape from the castle? Oh. Well, I... Uh... Um... Guess I'll see you later. Master! Mutsu is gone! Things are going over at the Bon Moan. I wish I could have been over there to distinguish myself. Uh -huh. What the hell is that? <laughs> uh, it's a yokai. <laughs> <laughs> to come with me and everything, but, um, are you sure? You know he probably won't forgive you, right? I mean, he might even if try... He, if he chooses to kill me in the end. What? Well, then most likely, that is the destiny that is meant for me. I feel I've come to understand one thing. What I wanted was to see him once again, one more time. And as for what I must do when that time comes, a mother will know, hopefully. Mm. Ah! 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 It must be from the rain from earlier. The water is now surging down from the mountains. What? Dang it! Turn, you stupid <gasps> thing! Turn! I am certain the person the guard saw was my sister! We must hurry! <laughs> hey, cut it out. Stop it. I don't taste any good. Don't be... Uh. What the... Hey! <laughs> Stop it already, will you? <laughs> uh, uh, a horse? <laughs> huh? But of course. The moment you wake up, things get livelier. You again? You sure seem to have the devil's luck with you, don't you, kiddo? The people here found you after you washed ashore, looking a little worse for wear. Where am I? Uh, hey, Monk! Was there a lady that was found with me? Real pretty? Huh? I get what you're saying. Yahiko. But... Huh? Dororo is awake. Hey, you sure slept long enough. Feeling okay now? Yeah, thank you. Uh, wait a second. She's here. When she heard about the invalids here, she asked if she could help. Voluntarily. And we're short on hands, so it's perfect timing. So, correct me if I'm wrong here, but isn't that woman Lord Daigo's wife? Uh, no, she's not! Okay then, right. <laughs> These are all people who don't have any place to go. Some had their savings confiscated for the war effort, while some had their entire villages burned because of the epidemic. We all have nowhere else to go, so we just stick together. All because of Daigo. It's not like Lord Daigo is doing all of this just to spite his own people. 
It's to protect the land, right? He's doing it because he thinks it is necessary. Uh... Huh. You're always talking like you understand everything. I mean, I want to go up to that damn woman and tell her she can go rot in hell. Gee, hate her. I know, but... But damn it! I feel so miserable just sitting here. I need to do something. We have always had our lives tossed upside down at the merciless whims of the samurai. It is unbearable. There. Hey, so... I know that you lost your pretty little mama, too. You'll be all right, okay? Drifting downstream with Lord Daigo's wife, you sure do have the flair for the dramatic. Mm. So what are you going to do now? Well, I'm still figuring that out. You eat up, little one. You can survive out here just fine, even without your mama. <laughs> I've got bad news. Looks like we're stuck here for now. The castle is in some sort of a big uproar. I can imagine. When my son was born, I'm positive that I heard him let out a crying wail. But right after, there was a sudden white flash. And when the light disappeared, he was... already... precious thing in my life. Yakimaru might turn into a demon god if we don't stop him. What? The demon god flame inside him is getting stronger and stronger, but I can't do anything about it. Uh, but that's... Although, maybe there's a way! It's Daigo! Uh. Daigo's army is coming! <gasps> so how was it? It's unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it. Huh? A massive force of Daiko soldiers have gathered at the Two Pines up the hill. They're preparing for battle. Seems like they rounded up all the soldiers left behind at the Mountain Castle. When you say at the Two Pines, well, <sighs> that's just past the climb up the North Cliff. <gasps> so then, is there another enemy besides the Asakura? I'm not sure. It's just they seem to be rather flustered. I mean, it's like they're scared of something. Scared? They kept saying a demon god is coming. Demon God. Stand fast, men! Attack! Do not let them reach the castle! Right! God. Oh, dark spirit, who could not devour the Daigo child at birth? You were denied what was yours. So now, take me instead. I freely give unto you my body as sacrifice. Just please protect our land. I beg you, protect the whole realm. between Daigo Kagemitsu and the demon gods. 
may only be fulfilled with the body of Yakimaru, the true heir of Daiko. Getting close, but we don't know for sure if it's Hiyakimaru yet. Well, if it is him, he's probably headed straight for Daigo, no doubt. Hey, that stuff you told me earlier? About when he was first born? Yes. Well, when we find your son, could you maybe tell him that yourself? Huh? You should tell him that his mother cares about him. You care about him. He needs to hear it. Hear it from you. Give him back. Dororo! Back off! And to protect the province of Daigo for all eternity, I will now lay claim to your body, Yakimaru! figure out a place to go, okay? They're there. Uh, what a mess. I've never seen him so wild. You know why. The demon gods. Yeah, well, we don't know enough about that yet. But we should probably go ahead and move all the women and children away from the border to prepare for the worst. There's no doubt there's going to be a war in any case. I'm sick of this. Being forced to move from here to there. It's the same no matter where we go. Whoa! Hey! Wait! It's acting strange. Something's not right. I'll go up and take a look. We can make a break for it after that. I'll go with you. We're on our way. Those are mine! You are wrong! These are Daigo's eyes now. And Daiko's limbs. If you tear them off, the land will fall. In fact, it is already on the verge of collapse. You shattered the agreement with the demon gods, and you must pay for what you've done. For our people, your entire body will now become, become Daiko's flesh and blood! No! It's all mine! The tale of the demon gods. 
Tahomaru, Mutsu and Hyogo too. Don't do it! No! If you jump into something like that, you will not be able to survive. But I gotta stop him! No. In his current state, Yakimaru may not even be able to recognize you. What? Uh... The other three are not themselves either. I remember it clearly. That dark, evil presence. I am sure of it. It is the one present in the Hall of Hell. The Hall of Hell? What's that? It is the temple where... where the twelve demon gods who feed on Hyakumaru are enshrined. What? However, there is one among the Twelve who failed to devour him. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Now I see the full picture. That is why Hyakimaru didn't die at birth, and why he was followed by the Demon Gods. <clears throat> They've been trying to reach what they failed to consume. So why hasn't he gotten any body parts back recently, despite killing more Demon Gods? What exactly is he still missing, then? Both of his arms, and also his eyes. Hmm. Does that not match the state those three are currently in? Huh? <laughs> the power of the demon gods reside in them. Oh. It is a gruesome battle for occupation between Hyakimaru and the twelfth demon god. This all happened. Due to the agreement made by my husband, Lord Daigo Kagemitsu, it is impossible for this land to prosper without Hyakimaru's sacrifice. And that's why Tahomaru... But that's... Uh. 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 Hey! Help! Somebody catch that horse! Uh, hold on! I wouldn't! Uh. Ah! I take it that she was your... your mama. Hyogo! Mutsu! Master... With, without fail, an era without war... No! Don't go! I won't let you! Mutsu! Hyogo! You must be joking. <laughs> Young master, we would even follow you to hell. Oh. <sighs> 
too. <laughs> I am. Please, mother, just stand back. Tahomaru. With all that has happened, you would still offer sympathy to that goddamn freak. <gasps> that is our land's demise. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> It won't end. Even among the animals, the bond between mother and child is strong. Please, please stop this. These are my hands. They belong to me. Why is everyone getting in my way? The body you worked so hard to regain will be stained with their blood. It will weigh heavy on you. Will you still be human then, boy? Human? What is a human? I am! That is our land's demise! No! It's mine! I'm getting it back! I'm getting everything back! You will not escape! I see. He's gotten his arms back so his reach is longer. you work so hard to regain will be stained with their blood even so it belongs to me <laughs> how can i get him to put an end to all of this that's tough at this rate, it probably won't stop until one of them is dead. So, uh, from what I heard people talking about, this Shakimaru guy got his body parts back from the demon gods, and that's why the land is turning to ruin. Yeah, so, and what of it? Well, uh, if he just gives his body back to the demon gods... What's that, you oh, oh, oh. So what? Now you guys want to use Big Bro as food oh, for a demon oh. god? Do you realize how much pain he went through just to get his body back? He went through hell! You should at least have some idea since you've suffered plenty yourself. But you're okay with having to make another human go through even worse! You might as well be another one of the samurai or the demon gods! Of course not. Look, we're not trying to say that it's the right thing to do. It's just, well, if it comes down to the life of one man and that of an entire domain of people. Not if that one life is... Stop it right now! But what they're saying is that the people of this land are more important than Big Bro! And that, in a way, is certainly true. Huh. You... I knew it! You don't care about Big Bro but at all! A pact of this sort. Peace built upon the sacrifice of someone else is awfully fragile. I understand that painfully well now. <laughs> These ten-odd years of prosperity that our land has enjoyed... It was all due to the sole sacrifice of Yakumaru. We were but plump little chicks, being fed by a mother hen. We simply stood here, mouths open, gulping down whatever was fed to us. That which we do not obtain with our own hands is not something we can protect. <sighs> I no longer have the power to even stop my own children. Mm -mm. 
with our own hands, huh? <sighs> the samurai in all the wars, they have stolen so many things from us over and over again. But complaining about samurai in wars doesn't change anything. Because we still end up depending on them to do things for us. If we want to protect something, if there's something that we want, then like Big Bro, we have to do it. We have to do whatever it takes and grab a hold of it with our own hands. <sighs> but we must become stronger to do that. We need to gather our strength together. Yes, that is one way. But I would be careful with that. Hmm? You saw them fight earlier. Pursuing strength may lead you to becoming a violent demon god as well. Or you could let go of such power, engaging in no fights. The way of the Buddha. The way of mercy. But with either path you follow, you may no longer be human. My lord! Another Asakura force has emerged in the east. There are about 1,500 of them. Dispatch men from Mitsutoshi's regiment. If the eastern defense falls, they'll reach our core immediately. Tell the men to fend off the enemy at whatever cost. Yes, sir. I cannot be defeated. Falling here would mean everything has been for naught a fruitless dream. Everything. That must not be allowed to happen. I am the lord of this land. I cannot have been wrong. My lord. We have just received a report that the young master is currently in a battle with a demon-like boy at the Two Pines. They also say it was an abnormal spectacle. What exactly do you mean by an abnormal spectacle? I'm not sure, my lord. All I know is that he has only Mutsu and Hyogo with him. I can spare no troops to send to him. Worry not. Tahomaru is the heir of Daigo. He will undoubtedly return victorious. I refuse to believe he could lose to that pile of demon remnants. And neither shall I. I shall defend the Eastern Front myself! Get ready to march! That's right. This is how it must be. Young Master! All of you need to vacate now. A demon god will be here any moment. Flee now if you value your lives! Yes, sir. Right away. Not a human either way, huh? It's an impossible choice. The only option we have is to struggle between two extremes. Or perhaps, my dear, maybe that is how one continues to stay human. Well, how can you know until you give it a try? You don't just stop being human because you're stronger than everyone else. I know, because I've seen it happen with Big Bro. Maybe it's not about strength, but it's heart! And if you remain true to your heart, then you won't lose who you really are! <laughs> That's right. I'm sick and tired of being controlled by the samurai and their wars. We need to stand up and protect what's ours by ourselves. Right. Sure, but how do we get the power to pull off something like that? We'll just have to figure all that out as we go along. But we'll need to start right now! And that goes for you, too. Brother, there is nothing left to be said. With your arms longer, 
You're at a disadvantage indoors. Yakimaru, in this place where you were born, you will die. Give them back, or I will take them back! Look, there's a fire. Is that the royal castle burning? Has the Asakura attacked? No, and I think I know why. I think I know too. Hey, wait a sec! You're going too? I have no choice but to go. The two who are fighting up there are my sons. Even if I am powerless, I must go to them as their mother. Shakimaru. That which I must do. gotten a glimpse of a little something about the future about what needs to be done but I'm not alone you are with me too you gotta be so let the demon gods have your eyes hands legs whatever if you want eyes I'll be your eyes I'll be your limbs I'll be anything you need Please! Don't become a demon! Don't give yourself away! Big Bro! Not of much use as a guide, but I can take the place of a walking cane. Thank you. There was once a newborn whose first cry should have been heard across the realm, but that voice, heard by no one, was in fact reverberating throughout the land all along. <laughs> Dororo and Hyakimaru. Under normal circumstances, a bastard like you would never even be allowed here! The home of Daigo. And it belongs to me! No way in hell! There's nothing here that belongs to you! This is my castle! I was born and raised here! I ran down these halls, trained and learned the ways of the sword! This is my room! Father gave me that desk as a gift! And horses too! The same is true of Mother! Our Mother... She was... Always... Mother was... Where's my son? Our Mother... <gasps> she is my Mother! You were never a part of this place! There is nothing of you, not even memories! Not a single shadow of your existence! So tell me, why then? Why what? You were always here, your entire life. That's right! And I am nothing like you! Then why aren't you complete? What did you say? You are missing something. As am I! You are mistaken. Why are you incomplete? <laughs> Shut up! If I lack like anything, it is because of you! Like Mutsu and Hyogo, mother too. Go to hell. 
I had no choice, and I want it back! Every last piece of you belongs to this land! <laughs> up there but but how can I get to him I'm on my way I'm coming big bro I'll be right there Dororo. Uh, Monk. I'm so glad you're here everything past this point is in flames what are you doing with that well the lady down there is taking the secret passage secret passage Dororo. please wait for me up there I will need you to pull it up whenever I get back I'm going to Dororo. Please just stay by my son's side, as you have always done. I will. must be Hyakimaru's dear mother. Oh. He really does resemble you. And who are you? You miss with that stroke you could have very easily severed my head why didn't you i don't know i guess you are just like i am you are a human uh, uh, of course i was no match for you never was i a match for you from the very beginning never Tahomaru. You and I... I never should have let anything stop me from holding you back then. 
I should have just embraced you like this the first time. Oh, how I love you. I love you so much, my sweet son. Mama. Forgive me, Yakimaru. What I really should have given you back then was not arms or legs. Listen, Yakimaru, you must live. Take that blood-stained body and let it nurture a human, not a demon. You already have the embers glowing within you. Please, go. You have a friend waiting for you. One who will stay by your side. Go on. You feel so lonely. But from now on, I will be with you forever. I promise. I will never leave you again. With this, finally. You're back. Is Hyakimaru with you? Wonderful. Get ready. I'll pull you up. Wait a minute. <coughs> pull us up. Right away. I can't believe we made it. He really got his arms back, didn't he? They're soft and warm. I see the sky. Huh? The sky is pretty. The sky? Uh, Dororo, you are pretty. Oh, hey! There's no time for that! Uh, wait, you can see? You can actually see my face? Careful now, else you'll You're fall. not just kidding around, are you? You're seeing me! That's fantastic! This is a pivotal moment in your fate. Watch it closely. With those new eyes of yours. Ah, what's that? My lord, I come bearing grave news. Forgive me, I hesitate to tell you this, but say it. A fire has broken out inside the castle and spread along the castle walls. The young master's residence has been completely destroyed. Both the young master and the lady of the house are unaccounted for. It's feared that... Very well. We will crush the Asakura! Onward! March! On this day, to fend off the Asakura army, innumerable men laid down their lives for Daigo. And in the end, the last remaining statue of the demon gods crumbled and fell. And yet, not a soul was there to notice. Look, I get what you're saying about not relying on the samurai in order for us to make an independent living. And of course, we would do that if we could. But we lack enough power to be independent. For us, we can't use katana or spears. You won't need that. That's not really the kind of power I'm talking about. Then what is it that you have in mind? <laughs> it's very simple, fellas. 
Money. Hmm? We won't rely on samurai or demon gods, and no more wars. With a little financing, it can be done. All right, but how are we supposed to get that kind of money? <laughs> if we had that around, we wouldn't be suffering. I have it. Huh? huh? Well, it's a little far away from here, but I kind of have my own hidden mountain of gold. You serious? Okay, then. Where is this place? <laughs> yeah, right. I'm heading out to get it in a couple of days, so get ready for some big changes! Well, that is quite the bold idea you have planned, isn't it? It's like you hear everything. You started all this, you know. You told me to think about how I could use the money I have. I had not thought about it to that extent. Common folk working together to form their very own domain? <laughs> I suppose I never would have had that idea myself. I am one of the samurai, after all. What? You? A samurai? Never you mind. And by the way, what has Hyakimaru been up to? He seems to be stuck in deep thought ever since that fateful day. Yeah. So I told him all about my new plans, thinking it would cheer him up a bit. But he just stood up all of a sudden and left, saying he had something to check on. Oh, really? To check what? He just kind of mumbled something about it being personal, and that was it. My only guess is that he wants to make sure that his body is working okay and everything. So you've taken everything back from the demon gods. What do you think of this land you're seeing for the first time? Is it beautiful? No, not beautiful. Of course not. This land and its people have bled far too much for you. In fact, they will continue to bleed for some time. But I shall not let this domain fall. If we stop preying on others, we become the prey. Which is why I shall not stop. I shall continue to live through this hell. If the demon gods wish for human sacrifice, then I shall just feed them again. You would let them take me a second time? Why would I not? To be a samurai means there's no greater desire than to rule over the land. So to that end, I do not mind relying on the power of the demon gods. If I made any mistake, there is only one thing I would change. The day of your birth. I should not have left you to the midwife. I should have strangled you with my own two hands. You may hate me. But even in death I shall reign from beyond with my true son, Tahomaru. We will be demon gods and protect this land. He is still not back? No, and he's not at the castle either. Even though he said he would be right back. Ah. Oh. Well, it could be possible that he has already left this region. Huh? What do you mean? I mean, he may have left for another journey. You're not saying he would never do that! He wouldn't just walk away! How could he just leave me? Now, now, just calm down. That boy has finally had a proper birth into this world. And not just because he regained his body, but his state of mind. I don't understand. He was halfway down the path of blood and carnage, and now he must retrace the path to humanity. But that will prove a difficult task, considering the number of lives he's taken. And, well, he... He also just lost both his mother and his brother, too. I tried to tell him that none of it was his fault, but, well... If Hyakimaru ends up going down the wrong path, there is no telling if you would be safe. <sighs> No, not anymore! He would never do something like that again! Perhaps the reason he left is to prove that to himself. Uh, but then... Hyakimaru... What's this? The path I choose to take... ...does not lead that way. 
I'm human. You are human as well. Live on, and do not become a demon. Yakimaru, if I had not sought the help of the demon gods on that day, if you had been the one to succeed this land, the prosperity I desired for Daigo may have been realized. Yakimaru, it was within you and your desire to live, a strength that even the demon gods craved. Don't you worry. I'll be waiting. And I know you'll come back. Back by my side. Hyakimaru embarks upon a new journey, while Dororo continues onward. The Warring States period has only just begun. Yet Biwamaru believes, for those two, the path that meanders ahead will by no means be tracked by pools of blood.